Welcome! To a charisma says. The only show that decides to push back for Cyberpunk only to run into the Game Awards. <laughs> yeah, not realizing yep. that that was a thing mm -hmm. that was happening. Well, that's okay. We're not here for you. We're here for us. So fuck you. Fuck you if you're watching the Game Awards. Curse you! You'll rue the day! Dragon Age 4 looks good. It's not even technically gameplay, so I'm not gonna get... I don't know. There was a bald guy! There's a Vin yeah. Diesel game. Nick, oh count me God. out. Don't forget about that one. Count me out, unless it's Groot. Are it's, the Dragon it's, Age... It's not. <laughs> it's Vin Diesel running around in a loincloth. As the only With white a spear. man in like a tribal society fighting dinosaurs. Yep. So, Hell like... yeah. They've never tried that before. Uh, also, um, um, he's a pop star now. Did you guys know that? Uh, what? I Did Vin Diesel do with yeah. the song? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. How are you guys not you aware of this? this? When? Oh. Well, this year. I try to tune out in everything year, that is Vin in, Diesel. In the year of 2020. So. I could play, I could probably play two seconds of it. Maybe three. Can we listen to some Jeremy Renner too? No. We're good without the no. Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner is a better artist Canceled. though. Well, that's actually true. Jeremy Renner is better. He is a bad, bad guy apparently, but he's better. You know who's even better than that? Oscar Isaac. Mm. Yes. Mm, he's true. talented. Wholesome and mm. and lovable. Not bad to look at either. Not bad to look at. Um, what? It's called Dance Macabre. So, uh, 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 uh is there any? Is there anything going on? Uh, I don't know that there's anything going on. No. I, don't, I don't think so. I Other than good. unless you want to talk about your subclass again. <coughs> sure. So I did release, I did release a subclass called uh, the Blood Hunter, not called the Blood Hunter, called the Sanguine Blade, the Order of the Sanguine Blade, which is a subclass for the Blood Hunter subclass or er, class made by Matt Mercer, who you may have heard of through his uh, hair products. Um, and also from doing the D and D on the internet. And, uh, so I made that it's what Avelios uses and it's super good. I think, I think it's pretty good. I think, I think you'd have fun with it, especially if you like hacking things to pieces with a sword made of your own blood, which is a thing you get to do. Um, so if, if, if that's a thing that you're like, you know what I want to do, I also want to cut things to smithereens with a, a sword made of my own life essence then then there there in chat is a uh, is a is a link to it and if you if not just type in into the google bar order of the sanguine blade and it'll happen it'll happen i have no idea why this wants to be german for me this is very it's strange just... Look, that's what you are now and you have to accept we'll it switch to the battle cam so you can see schnell vor schau which is which is quick preview in German. So huh. you may you may you may recognize that word from all World War II movies where one of the German commanders may go, Schnell, Schnell Los that that mean? Yes, it okay. means quick. Well it does mean quick. I remember okay. I remember a lot of them because there was like ten audio things, um like, they, they didn't do a lot of voice acting for this game called um, Brothers in Arms, which is basically a Band of Brothers ripoff that I used to play with my friend a lot on Xbox, the original Xbox, speaking of the Game Awards. It didn't win any. Um, but it was, a, it was a good game. It was a fun. Good times. And they had Nazis, and you killed them. Which is what you do with those. Controversial now, apparently. It's not really controversial. It's what you do with them. <coughs> it's like overeating at a buffet. It's just the natural course of events. <laughs> So, uh, is there anything else that we gotta we gotta do? We gotta do. That's the only thing. That's the that's the all of it. Okay. That's well, that's that, nothing in the pipeline. Nothing in the pipeline. I'm not working on shit. I don't think, except for the other stuff that's for campaign two. Uh, oh, I did officially well, start a campaign three folder because I got inspired by one picture. <laughs> it has one it has one picture in it, but that's I I know I know what's happening. Uh, <coughs> I have. So Started some behind the scenes work for uh, doing the character designs for 
um, campaign too. So any of that will be uh, on my Patreon mm. if you want to actually check it out. Um, hopefully I'll be posting some of those soon because I have one concept that's pretty much done. I just have to work on the other three characters. So that's if good. If you want to see the clothing we will be wearing, you can check mm. that out there. And and by the way, I'm hearing some top tier voice acting coming out of a lot of this group here for campaign two. I'm also seeing there's there's been talk of like wearing things, dressing up. Yeah, and and so uh, I'm I'm in. And yes, we did make a Sailor Moon. Uh, subclass. It is called the Magic Moon Sorcerer, and if you would like to be a magical girl, then you can. I have allowed it. I have bestowed it upon you, along with the help of Sarah, who basically, s I said, what do their powers look like? And she goes, and I sat down and described Well, the, she throws a sailor. chain of hearts. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna balance that for D&D 5th Edition, and so I did. Because I don't know a lot about Sailor Moon, other than they fight with the power of friendship, which is like every other group. It's not the power of friendship. It's well, the power every, of love and friendship. Like she like kind of says it out loud, like. Mm, no. What are in you the talking name about? Of the moon, I'll punish you. But anyway, yeah, and they used like, friendship, and friendship in a couple of episodes to like, ah, uh, if we combine all of our powers together, then we can help Sailor Moon. So yeah. Yeah, it's like why the Power Rangers don't you shoot the big cannon that they make. Every time, like just shoot in the, the first, just shoot in the, the first shoot episode. It. In the first episode of Power Rangers, they cover that. That's one of the rules. They have three rules. Zordon says, and one of them is don't escalate a battle unless Rita forces you to. So, right, know your Power Lang Rangers lore, okay? Well, that's that's <laughs> stupid though. Okay, well he's a fucking head in a tube. Okay, I don't know. Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying from a from a <clears throat> from a philosophical sense, you can't escalate it. You can't not escalate it and win. Like eventually, you murder the other person. That's also, that's the ultimate escalation of violence. Is is also, ending their existence. Every single week, it's the same thing. They should just know we're gonna blow this thing up and it's gonna get big. So just why don't we just get the it. Megazord and step, step on, on it, it, and then it'll get big, and then we do the fight. Yeah, uh, mm. I don't know either. Anyway, <coughs> I think that's the end of it. Anyone else have any lore questions about various media that we've consumed as children? <laughs> we're just about Yu Gi Oh. I uh, didn't like it. Deep, deep voice looked good. fucking weird, and also, um, um, uh, big bad Beetleborgs better than my, Power Rangers. My oh. memory of mm -hmm. been tainted. There was an by... Elvis ghost. What? Yeah, he was. His name was Flabber. Okay, his Whatever. name was Flabber. No, Legally no, your lore. From Flubber. Yeah. What was your what? What Sarah? I'm so confused now. Never Sarah had a Yu-Gi-Oh point. I'm bailing out. Digimon better I'm, than Pokemon. Digimon? No, no. If you They're, if you if you judge no. by theme song, Still <laughs> the, Digimon, no. the Digimon soundtrack. Digimon Digital Monsters. How do you not like that? Wow. I fucking hated the Digimon song. Oh, you know, I the... also hated the Transformers theme growing up as a kid. I thought it was stupid and repetitive. New oh, it's Sarah. so good. The Autobots waged their battle to destroy the no, evil forces it of wasn't the even Decepticon. Because this was later on in like the two thousand, like early two thousands. Oh, so you don't mean Transformers? Running, when they were just running the jingle from the chorus of Transformers over their toy commercials every hmm. single time, and it got to the point where Robots I was like, "I'm so fucking in disguise. sick." It was just that over and over again, and so I was really tired of hearing it hmm. all the time. But never tired of the Sailor Moon shit. Very no, sus. Never, Very sus. Never, never, mm. never. <coughs> or Dragon Ball Z, so I mean. Dragon Ball Z had a theme song? I just remember powering yeah. up. Just, just yelling. <laughs> I don't recall the Dragon Ball Z opening at all. I Well, I know that I there was like a, the Nimbus. It. Anyway, this is not a podcast about childhood <laughs> memories. <laughs> <laughs> should it be? That should be just be the show. We'll I think just... that we're just putting. We could also the do abyss that because we're really scared of going to the abyss right there, now. It's an option to do in addition to this, but not in replacement of. Now I have to find some sort of something. Hmm. Hmm. What shall we go with? I hadn't looked at it, so. <laughs> what a bummer. What? What's this sound like?
Spooky. Maybe that's good, I don't know. Sure. Last we left off. The, uh... Keepers of Eight had, uh, rescued their compatriots from the clutches of the, uh, uh, Mind Flayers, um, one member of which seems to have been identified as Crosley in some form of transition between his human uh, existence and whatever you want to consider his existence now. Uh, uh, some form of the process to change into a mind flare, but um, retaining aspects of his humanity. <coughs> you brought them back. Everything seems to be, everything seems to be going okay, going, going decent, but you have to, you have to go into the abyss now. You have decided that in search of the essence of, of the the gods in in this case specifically bounty i believe you are pleasure <laughs> pleasure you've already gotten the essence of time from toll the god of the god of time you've gotten the essence of death from ordus the god of death the essence of rebirth from the god of many things including rebirth lathander and you are now short pleasure suffering and elements to charge this <coughs> this celestial relic granted to you by Toll so that you may actually be able to save existence from the coming hunger. The days are windling down towards the last the last day according to uh, uh, calculations by the professor uh, and <coughs> The severity of the situation is high. Tuning fork in hand, no longer bound to an agreement where you had to bring back a, uh, a, a an imp to that person because they died tragically when you uh, failed to save uh, the Ivory what? Drift, which may have been the strategy all along. Um... <laughs> There's an elaborate plan to get a free <coughs> tuning fork for yep. the abyss. Those are 250 GP or something. So it saved us so much money. Yeah. So we begin with you. Uh, we, we we were going to bang the tuning fork and leave the existence, <laughs> yeah, but the, the stream day. shut off. The, a cascade of internet failure ran across. Uh, uh, all of our internets, except for Randy's, but uh, he was left alone on the internet. So, True. you stand, uh, the four of you, um, prepared. Where in the abyss do you want to go? What was the name of the city? <sighs> I have it written down somewhere for sure. <coughs> Pleasure Town. Pleasure Town. Pleasure Town. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. About right. This is, this, is, this is good, 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 good. Uh. I can give you a hint. Astro Plant, wait, nope. I'm if you there. just roll a history check. <laughs> I'll find it in my damn notes. All right, that's fine. Live your life. I'll roll a history <coughs> check, because... In your own personal history. Ah, shit. Trying to remember. Use a luck point, coward. Don't do it. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 28... Mm, you can't quite recall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, I can unlock the cosmic secrets of the universe, but God, God this this word recall, tip of the tongue. 
Uh, it is called Zelatar. Um, Zelatar. Okay. And you are aware that there are multiple levels within the Abyss, infinite levels in the Abyss, and Zelatar occupies three of them. So they are simultaneously on different realities of the Abyss. Where, so where Grozit, the demon lord, uh, resides. We're trying to get to the level that we were last time. Yeah. But I don't know what level we were on last time. Because I nope. didn't know that there were levels. Nope. So... You knew there were levels of the abyss. Just not that he had three of them. <coughs> so... You could shoot for the middle one. You don't know what that is. No. Nope. You have no reference. Technically, there is no middle one, because according to the way they described it, they all exist simultaneously. Well, they they are layered, so there technically is a middle one, but they do exist oh. simultaneously. Let that bake your noodle. Well, you said that you're, like, <laughs> in the same place, but in a different place. Yeah, that's still true. Yep. Nothing's changed. All right. That's... <laughs> It's a trinity thing. It only makes sense if you don't think about it at all. Uh, it, it makes... I mean, it makes sense to me. But I'm only everything. Yeah, you're God, so... More than that. So, make a call. Zelatar? Yeah? Yeah? Just allowing the winds of fate to blow you in a direction? I like it. What's the sound? I like? trust the professor. It's gotten us this far, hasn't it? True. <laughs> trusting the professor? That's a terrible no. decision. I... Well, trusting the professor and the winds of fate, I guess. Sort of. Oh, well, you are. Uh, your sails are unfurled in the in the winds of fate. So, we're going to see if this, this, this track I have sounds good for the abyss. If not. I'll bail out of it when we'll something different. <laughs> so, you cast plane shift? Yep. Okay. Uh, I believe this was seven. Yeah. I marked it off as we were stopping <coughs> last time because okay. we were we're, trying we're, to we're cast go, it. It was going to happen. Yeah. Was, um, okay. So, you cast plane shift. And we'll see where you happen to end up. Oh, God. Okay. Fucking... <laughs> <coughs> I'm scared. <clears throat> there is a sudden silence. As this, all you hear is this boom. The ding of the tuning fork held aloft by the professor um, in conjunction with casting what is necessary for the plane shift spell. All of you are filled with the ringing of this specific tune as the professor f f places wards on all of you that also resonate with that frequency. Your, your entire consciousness, and it just holds. You feel like your ears are going... If you, It feels like you just sat next to the subwoofer at a concert, just... Just this constant ringing. It consumes your entire sensory capabilities. You feel this tug as you pop out of existence. Your eyes closed, still ringing. As you open slowly. Coming into focus is a city of gloom before you, one that you have not experienced. <clears throat> all the all the sounds of a city along with this This strange feeling. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Actually, it's a Christmas really? saving throw. The thing! You get my aura. So, um, 
basically, if you have a below plus seven, just make it plus seven and then add another plus seven. <laughs> I think. Or is it only? It's only plus, plus seven. Plus seven plus another seven? No, no, no. no Hold no, on. No, 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 it replaces it. If it says it otherwise, or, uh, I, if it says it otherwise, I wrote it wrong. Any number of creatures within the aura of your choosing may replace their saving throw modifier with your charisma modifier. Yes. Once a creature does this, it can't do so again until they finish a short rest. At level 18, uh, an aura, the aura extends to 20 feet and there is no limit to the amount of times. Right. So it just can replace it. So you have okay. a plus seven. So eight. <laughs> <laughs> or you can use yours, which is if it's smaller. Um, okay. Well, then that oh. would make it useless what would make it useless it's because not then it's not useless they just take my normal aura and add plus seven flat on top of their modifier instead your of normal aura, aura of what the normal aura of protection mm -hmm. which is, is what my charisma modifier to all saving throws if they're within 30 feet of me <sighs> Uh, now I'm trying to think of how that balances. It would it would totally negate the purpose of it. For right now, add your or... add your charisma saving. It's not. It's it's just a better one. It's a better one. It's not your charisma modifier. Charisma plus proficiency. Your save. Your charisma saving throw. So you're saying to change so it swap to the it. saving throw. I just I maybe wrote it wrong. I wrote it like that so you could you could play it real quick. So so your charisma save plus your whatever your charisma save is, your charisma save. What is it? Okay, so plus 13. Plus 13. So you can add plus 13 instead or of your you could saving just take throw. Take the plus 7 on top of their normal save. Correct. Throw. Okay. So 14? But I but because she's at an epic level and you're almost done with the game, her saving throw for charisma is going to be much higher than anything else yep. right now. So, um, seventeen twenty two, right? <clears throat> Correct. Don't worry um, about what it's what, what's written down right now. I will take care. That's of That's not what I'm looking at. I'm trying to add my own stuff together. Oh well, I'm trying to ask you a question. What's your what's your normal what's your what's your charisma? Motto? Is it twenty two? It yeah uh, twenty four. <laughs> yeah. So. So it's oh, it's yeah. it's ideal to use her saving throw for that when you're in within her thing. Um, so it's just that the plus thirteen is within twenty feet. Yes, correct. And the plus seven is in thirty feet. Right. The further you so. get away from her, yeah. Okay, so fourteen for your charisma save. Well, anybody else? Well, who else got uh... thirty-two with plus thirteen? I Kay. guess. I got a fourteen because I rolled a one. Okay. Hey. 17. Okay. So, uh... <clears throat> starting the game off great. <laughs> yes. You are definitely starting the game off just fine. Uh, I need... Each of you... I don't know why that started in the middle there. I don't know why it's popping up over there. Um, I need each of you to roll d d10 for me. Not except for Alex. I mean Avelius. Same person. Three? Okay. Five. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let me... I'm going to text each of you a thing real quick. <laughs> oh, no. Great. I'm the babysitter. <laughs> I love when hey, this shit happens. Hey, you went happens. feral on our last <laughs> fucking event. Yeah. Trip, okay? Well, at least there was like another... At least there are three normal people and one feral person. Now it just totally backfired. This isn't well, this ferality, is but you know. Yeah, but like. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Went he went feral on our last trip here, so he has. No he did go actually complain. feral, yes, but this isn't. This is not yeah. that uh, occasion. But at least you guys had people that weren't feral. Were affected by something. <laughs> okay. There's yours, and I just need Randy. There you are. Oh, God. It's a photo. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. So. Oh no. So. <clears throat> there is all of that for now. Now, um, that is underlying. Your goals are still the same. You may have a new goal as well. You may have a new uh, something else going on, but you, uh, uh, nonetheless, uh, you are still here for what you're here for. Um, so, uh, as you all shake your heads, um, you carry forward into this into this city. Um, a dark purple uh, covers the covers the uh, the I guess the landscape. Um, there's this there's this fog that sort of sits on everything. You can see through it. It doesn't really mess with your gaze too much, but it is always there. You're always it feels more dense here. It feels like just walking through smoke. You see purple braziers a light um, th throughout the city. You see these domed and pointed tops um, has a sort of Arabic or Russian feel to it. Um, you also see um, in this sprawling metropolis, you see what looks to be a moon, um, but under closer inspection uh, from Evelios and Isilius, um, you look up and it's actually what seems to be a white hot disc of flame that is that is it's 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 burning low like a neutron star it doesn't give off a ton of light um and you both have no Evelios, your past perception is what 21 something like, like that uh you can see very faintly as you just sort of look up at it figures moving and writhing in it so here you are <coughs> humanoids walk by you many of them with uh displays of incredible horns uh you see um a few people walk by with skeletal wings um um, you see uh, deep uh, uh, black skinned um, and I mean like black black like like almost vanta black hard to catch them and unless it catches an angle the this 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 purple light um, you see these um, demons many demons that you've you've seen before um, an amalgam of Hooved creatures with with horns, uh, some of them bipedal, some of them quadrupedal. You see these flying individuals. All of them have some sort of sapience, and you see um, uh, this large sort of. Um, I guess the only way to put it would be would be it looks like it looks like the demoniest demon. It has horns. It's red. It's got wings. It's got a long lightning whip, and it's. <laughs> crackling the lightning whip to a group of about 20 slaves it has in one hand holding them back on chains that they're bound to these look like people um like humanoid elf dwarven gnomish it just looks like people um as they move forward and um so what do you want to do you do see a large palace in the distance as well it's basically the same thing as last time except everyone doesn't enjoy being whipped. Well, also before, when you were in um, the uh, 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 the city um, there was a, it was it was more like a desert bazaar, it was like sandy a little bit, uh, there was like leathery feels around here, this is very stone, this is very cold it's in, it's in nighttime ish or dusk or something um, and it's very, very dense. It's much more dense than before. Before there was, like, space to spread out. You're kind of bumping into people as you walk. Okay, how did we get an audience with Grazit before? We had uh, to go through that one guild. 
So we went to the Planeswalkers and they got us a meeting with Grosset, but I feel like we could just kind of go knock on the front door, you know? Like... I mean, are they going to have a, a thing on this particular level as well, or is it going to be specific to the other one? Well... I don't know. Okay. We don't really know until we check. I mean, probably ask around. I don't <coughs> probably probably not one of the whip people. I'd rather not be whipped, but you know. Maybe we should look for something that's kind of like the Planeswalkers Guild, like something out of place. Maybe there are other people traveling here. I don't know why they would be. <clears throat> is there anyone around that's like tending anything like I know uh, uh, when we were at the uh, abyss previously there were some shops and stuff does this mm. particular area have what appears well, you're to right be... at the gate right now okay um and inside uh, like people are bumping past you as you guys are sort of like looking around and kind of catch your bearings um it's it doesn't seem weird that you popped in so um, as far as, uh, uh, businesses or anything, go ahead and roll an investigation check as you walk around, kind of deeper into this, this city. And as you walk through, it's, it's, it's very old European. The, 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 the roadways tend to like, unless it's the main thoroughfare, um, it almost feels like alleys and the, the buildings are like on top of you and you could like spread your arms out. And if you really stretch your, you feel like your the tips of your fingers could touch two different buildings on the other side of the street. It's 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 compact. Uh twenty six was my investigation. Okay. <clears throat> um the first person you see, I guess you could say person, um as you as you sort of walk up some stairs and they, they begin to get a little MC Eshery, um but you you are kind of headed towards this palace to try to at least get closer to what you think is is your goal. Um, kind of walk up some stairs, walk sideways, and ends up going down and over, and it's 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 confusing. And then there's a um, um, there's a what looks to be the front of some sort of store. It has it has this sort of canopy over the front, um, almost looking like a like a a hellish tiki bar. Um, as people are sitting along this this long stretch, um, and and as you walk forward, you notice that the um, the tabletop and, the, and it, there is a tabletop. It's 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 flat mostly. Um, it's made of some sort of substance, maybe stone or wood or something. You can't really tell, but it's uh, it's lacquered with this like thick black tar that that has uh, hardened over time. So it's got this sort of like roiling feel to it, though it is solid. But it is attached on top of it to this coiling, um, what looks to be like serpent bones that that make up the base of it. And as it goes around like this, um, in sort of a semicircle, as you walk up, uh, there are several people uh, sitting there. Um, you see this, um, I guess you could say, bartender. Um, this sort of humanoid figure with one small little arm um shriveled and 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 and, and fleshy um manipulating uh what looks to be some sort of drink in a in a in a skull cup it looks like it was a like the top of a skull was hacked off and they're drinking out of this skull as he sets it down in front of um uh one of the other one of the other patrons who just looks like a um a uh pure white tiefling with these long horns um, that come around like ram's horns except the one on the right seems to have been snapped off and the other one continues to go and it continues to curl uh, with lots of this jewelry on the left side um, sits down there and uh, this this it just looks like his face is covered in like tumors um, no no real hair there's like spritz of hair on the top of the head the eyes are sort of hollow, um, and uh, you can see like the rib cage. There doesn't seem to be much clothing going on either, and the left arm hangs down low below this sort of bar, and, and um, 
Start speaking in um, Abyssal. Does anyone speak Abyssal? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So instead of gibberish language I was going to make up, you hear... <sighs> you sitting at the bar. If not, get the fuck out! I'll sit down at the bar. Mm-hmm. Good. I'll follow her lead. As the two of you sort of sit down. Um, there's like three seats there. And then and then on the other side, instead of next to the tiefling, on the other side, there's this um this bull. It almost looks like a bull, but the bottom jaw is gone, and there's just a tongue hanging out. And it has it also has horns. Um, and then there's another creature on the back. Um, this small little, little, it almost looks like a tiny bone, bone demon. Um, <laughs> this, this very skeletal, um, it almost looks like if you just took Rose's skeleton and, and animated it. It's sort of hanging out on, on his shoulder and every once in a while, instead of with his tongue not hanging to the bottom jaws is lapping up whatever liquid he's drinking out. Um, he goes like this in the, in the little skeleton sort of just rubs its face in it. It doesn't seem to have a digestive system, so you don't know why, but, um, it, he's a hulking fellow, probably eight feet tall, very large. So, um, I don't know how you want to handle that situation, but you can. <laughs> so three of you can sit down. Uh, I'll stand. Okay. The other ones sort of jump on the stools. And these stools are just basically uh, made out of this this stuff. It's, it's almost like you're sitting around a campfire and they just have logs and people are sitting on the logs. It's like that, but there's these tiny stone sort of cylinders. Um, <sighs> what do you have? Uh, what do you serve? All sorts. We're from out of town, so... Yeah, obviously. Do you have anything to the taste of people <laughs> from out of town? Yeah. And you hear you hear Elenia like... <laughs> like, like she's uttering demons into the world. Um, uh, he goes... I got flat beer. That'll work. One for each of us. Grabs this old keg. You see, you see, like dusty. And then at this point, you notice uh, he turns around with his with his hand, but the left arm stays behind. And then it sort of dangles up like this. And it's not a hand; it's just another mouth with like these these weird Ugh. eye stalks on it. I guess. Hello. So, you say out of town, eh? Yeah, uh, we're where, actually... Where from? Material plane. Ah, you had to smell on you. Don't mind him. We are looking for, uh, I guess some information and to chat with some people, Get a little some bit friends. closer to you. And you can see the, the, the sort of things on top of it go, like it's smelling you like a snail. Uh, we need to seek an audience with Grozit for the second time now. You hear, <laughs> as everybody goes and looks at you. <laughs> and they, the, the, the guy now turns away from the keg, having filled two of them with flat beer, handing them over. He said, "Grows it." Mm-hmm. The Dark Prince himself. I believe the Dark Prince himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody asked for Grows it, unless they want to be his slaves. Well, last time we met him was on another part of the abyss. So. <laughs> You want to be his slaves? Be in his ardent palace? 
just uh, want to chat. <laughs> People start. <laughs> you hear the one without the tongue go. <laughs> Or with just the tongue. I'm going to go to Alenia. Are you blowing this? What's happening? <laughs> I, th I think the rules are a little different here than the other place. I'm trying oh. to figure Yo, it out. it fogged down, miss. Ain't no rules here except none of them. Do all of it. That's kind of similar to last time. You follow a rule, you break them. Well, then it shouldn't be ridiculous that we ask to... Just unsafe. I think we can handle ourselves. I don't think you can. Department. Well. I mean, his estate is pretty obvious. It's a big There's one that way. Right, but the last time we spoke to him, we had the aid of the Planeswalkers Guild. Are they also established <laughs> here? Or? There's a branch. It's called Devil's Doom. Know why? Because they killed them fucking devils, that's why. Well, that's good. You're trying to get into the blood war, too. Make some money. Possibly. Good money in the blood war. Where can we find them? <laughs> now you also want to find Devil's Doom. You trying to die here, girl? No. We're trying to stop everyone from dying. <laughs> Can't do that. Death inevitable. Well. That's good, too. Wouldn't want to really live forever. Dying. Not really stop dying so much as uh, stop everything. Well, I don't give a shit about whatever thing. you're doing, if I gotta be totally honest. All right. You want to go on Devil's Doom? You got to cross the River of Salt. It's that way. Points deeper into the city. Good luck with that. River of Salt? It's a salt river. You're wasting a lot of my time. We'll go patrons. Alright, how much for the flat beer? 30 gold. It's ridiculous. He takes your mug and starts drinking it. Uh, I'm going to leave him 10 gold. Say, this is for the information. And I will get up and walk out. <laughs> okay. I guess we're getting up. <laughs> I'll follow. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotta break all the rules! <laughs> True, right, there are so no rules. Those of you who don't speak Abyssal, apparently the only rule here is that there are no rules. So, Professor, I feel like this is your place. No, it's fine, but like, maybe it is my kind of place. Maybe, maybe... Hmm. The Professor's just gonna start kind of looking around. Yeah, the yeah, buildings okay. are tall. And uh, the uh, the denizens are interesting. Yeah. Do you have like an idea? Maybe. Not anything important. Don't worry about it. I'm a little worried about it. I'm gonna be honest. Fuck. <laughs> so where are we going? The River of Salt? I'm gonna f start following the, the way that he pointed deeper in the city. I guess. Yeah. How hard is it to find a river?
How hard is it to find a river? Those are probably famous words. <laughs> Lewis and Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if they know about it, we're not ne technically discovering anything, so... <coughs> well... What do you want to do? Just head deeper in? Yeah, and mm -hmm. try to yep. find this river of salt. As the professor is walking through, the mm -hmm. professor is going to try and make note of any guards or like def how do I put this anything that looks like it's trying to maintain order or stuff like that I know they said break all the rules so it might not be there but that's something the professor's gonna keep an eye out for okay uh, roll an investigation check it's more like it's just gonna be bands of ruffians ruffians uh, oh, that's not that good. 16. Uh, you see people in armor and, uh, some of them are loitering. You don't know if they're guards. Okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a uniform, though. So. All right. As we're walking, I'm going to kind of look at all the rest of them and be like, we could... We could probably take most of these people. We've killed, we've we've killed, way stronger people than most of these people look like. Why are we starting fights? I'm not trying to commit genocide. I didn't say genocide. I'm just saying there, you know, there, there's there's potentially people who are upholding uh, uh, certain power structures, and maybe certain power structures need to be upended. So, you know, just. I mean. I think we just leave things as they are. I would like to see a lot of dead demons but just I'm... like if they if they if they had if they had someone in charge who was maybe i don't know they could could bring industry and then you wouldn't need all the slaves like uh just just someone who knows what they're doing at the the, the very the very top telling them all what to do but in a benevolent way wait are you saying that you want to I'm, 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 I'm not i'm not saying me, I'm just saying in the p hypothetical, I uh, did. Hmm, I would probably fit the bill. So you're saying you, you want to start a slave enterprise? Saying a slave enterprise, I just I would help stop the slavery by telling everyone else to not do that. With power. No. I'm trying to figure out what's step one in this plan here. Step one. Take over the abyss. Step two. Be in charge of the abyss. I don't think you've thought this through. I think I've thought <laughs> it through. To be honest. I'm going to be totally honest, I do not think you have thought this plan through. If we venture in my head, out of I'm our current sure. plan and do that, then there will be no abyss for you to rule over. I'm not saying we can't do both. I'm not, I'm not saying we can't do both. I'm just saying. This place is awful. Yeah. Can we just, like, can we to get, be can we get there? I'm getting, like, really antsy. So, um... If we could just, like, try to find this river. Is it a... Is it salt water, or, like... I don't know if it's, it's a salt, salt water, I wonder or if, it's if it's the Black River that I saw in my vision. Black River? The vision I had a long time ago. It was... I wrote it down. It was, uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, it's it's a black river, and that's how we got to the blood war. Then, no, the black river is the river Styx, right? That's in the sure. house, not here. Got confused. Uh, this is totally different, and they hate each other. Oh, great. 
<laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> of course they hate each other. So. Carrying on. Go ahead and make a... Uh, uh, just make a, an investigation check, two of you can. I have a pretty high investigation. I don't know what you guys are. Right, plus six. Mm -mm. I have yeah, plus you 12. have the second highest. Okay, so I guess the two of us. 24. 21. All right. So, uh, as you're wandering around, uh, you do eventually... Um, after about, I'd say with those rolls, probably only a half hour or so of, of, of wandering through these, these streets, kind of in the general, it's hard to keep a straight path, but kind of in the general direction of this large palace at the, at the other side, um, <clears throat> you, you come upon a, uh, what looks to be like an archway and a large wall that spans left and right as far as you can uh as far as you can see on the uh with from within the city like that um and as you come to the gate there's um a large uh thin um again this this very like deep black almost purple black midnight skinned sort of leathery um a uh, creature with these small horns, these sort of bat-like ears, and these large bat wings, um, just sort of looming on top of 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 a a pillar, or I guess like um, think of like a gargoyle, like sitting kind of in the middle, on the top, looking down. The gate is currently shut with these barbed, cold iron um, uh, bars, and it looks down at you. The only people that are approaching this. <clears throat> and it goes, What are you doing walking towards the Gate of Salt? Wanting to cross. Oh, wanting to cross over to the other side of the city, I see. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. This is telepathic, you realize, as all of you are now clued in as it extends out. You see these eyes flare, and there's like burning fire within this sort of white pupilless sclera. Why should I let you pass? Crookest thing. Do you want to keep existing? <laughs> Are you threatening me? No, not me. Why? We have business to take care of here, and if we don't take care of it, Every single entity is going to cease existing. And we need to get to the planeswalkers mm. for their help. No planeswalkers here. Planeswalkers don't live in Fog Town, they're in Gallon Gas. You're not in Gallengast at all. We were told we had to cross the Salt River. Yes. In order to get to them. No. <laughs> no. You are confused. You are going to the Devil's Doom, not the Planeswalker's Guild. could understand how your simple mind would under misunderstand such a thing here in the <laughs> abyssal kingdom of our lord Grazit. 
Okay, how do we get to Gross? It's... How, what was it called? Then you must cross. In what way? So to get to Grazit, we need to cross here. In order to get to the Devil's Doom, you must cross. But they are not planeswalkers. They are blood warriors. <laughs> Confusion has taken you. Good. I can see that you asked. are also affected by the corruption, which is nice. Good. You'll be here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and one day I'm going to be yeah. in charge and I'm going to fire you. You're not going to be doing a gate at all. You're going to fire me. Yeah, no. maybe out of a cannon. I don't know. We could take our time with it instead of firing him out of a cannon. So why aren't you letting us cross? Why am I not letting you cross? You haven't paid the toll. What's, What's the, toll? the toll? One soul, please. Well, Seems excessive yeah. for opening a gate. Does it? Yeah. But you'd be wrong. It's the exact I... price. Can I give it your soul? No. You have to give me a soul. Well, why not? You just said one soul. Yes. So it doesn't have to be ours? I don't care. How are we going to catch someone else's soul? I just oh. want to point out, if we just, just usurp, usurp the power structures of the Abyss and put me in as a dictator, Jesus then Christ. then we can solve this problem almost immediately. Just for the record. Mm, say that in front of the Dark Prince for me. Any soul will do. I can take care of it myself. You don't happen to have a captive with you, do you? No. Mm, well, until you have a soul, I cannot let you pass. I thought this place was about breaking rules, like there weren't rules. Try to break a rule, then. Or give me a soul. How tall the, is this the, one? the gate itself, it's literally just like, like a, sorry, it, it's like a, is it, <laughs> can I see through the other side? It's like a gate, right? Yeah, I mean, you said it's a, it's like a gate. Right, okay, straight. Sure. I could, uh, like, dimension door us through this. At least some of us. Two. That's two of us. Two. Doesn't someone yeah, else here also know dimension door? It's you and one other person. No, the cape of the I Mount Bank is gone, I also can dimension door. No, like, what can My we cape. just... Boop. Oh, do you, just, do you have the cape of the Mount Bank still? Mm -hmm. For some reason, I thought you took that off. Nope, I get it. Mm. We break a rule and we just... Boop, I could misty goes. step back and forth multiple times. I can misty step and fly, it's... I can't tell if something actually horrible happens if we do that, or if nothing happens and this is just a bluff. Well, I mean, we won't know until we try it, right? No worst case uh, scenario, Professor Regenerates. True. Again, coup attempt, still on the table. Just wanna... I feel like you need to shut up about that. I feel like you need to focus more on it, because frankly, I think your entire job here should be help install me as a dictator, okay? You're only making me want to uninstall your head from your shoulders. I don't think that would... Oh, God. I don't think that would go very well for either of us. No, I think I would... You'd regenerate, right? Yeah. You'd be fine. Yeah, and then I can do it multiple times. You've never had your head decapitated. You haven't had it eaten, though. We could just say fuck it and go forward, or we can go and round up some miserable people and give them to the gate. 
sounds awful, though. That's the exact kind of totalitarian awful stuff that I will stop when I am in charge of the abyss. <sighs> what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? You're, we are all, we, I, we, we are, we, you're all hammers. There are nails that are the power structure of, of, of this, this plane. Hammer the nails. You're saying power structure. You haven't given any actual concrete ideas. You're just talking in vague bullshit right now. Like 90% of what I do anyway. I regret not bringing silence. Yeah. I mean, we could just, like, grab a slave and drag it over here and give it soul away. That seems extreme. It, it says the one who wants to start a coup and take over the it's abyss. A, I said benevolent dictatorship, okay? There's a there's a means to this so you, end. You just... No. From behind you... Uh, that large individual that was, uh, or at least very similar to that large individual that had the chains with multiple people on, walks forward, holding, holding one of the slaves. It seems to be a, um, a, uh, uh, orc of some kind. Um, uh, although it's very, he's, he's very emaciated, um, walks up, uh, the, just goes, get out of the way. As it passed you, and then it walks up, it grabs a sword out of its side, and it goes, and it cuts off the head, and it drops at its feet, and the the creature goes, and it See? sucks the soul up into it. I'm gonna stare at. And then the the body. and then it walks through it walks through the bars of the gate. They just bend out of its way and the, back into place. That looks so fun. You, what, you wait. You never like violence. Why? What are you talking about that looked fantastic. Oh, I'm just. You know. No, maybe going get slaves is a good idea. We only need one, them? right? It's just one. One for each just, of us. Just, is it one? Yeah, he just said one soul. Or just one. For all of us. Can I kill all of them? No, not all. That's I think excessive. This murder talk is getting in the way of the coup attempt. Frankly, I think. We should direct these energies productively. It feels like murder is gonna get us there a little faster, huh? Than a, your whatever your fucking coup attempt is. Maybe someone should just try teleporting through the gate. Should I try? No, we should go. I mean, it's better we go kill slaves. We should go find some people. And I don't. Th I don't think we should yeah, murder no. slaves. Benevolent Why? dictatorship. Uh, that the benevolent goes away, and then it's just a dictatorship, which is bad. There's a humanoid-looking person nearby, as as you look around, Alenia. Um, uh, his arm seems to be shattered, like at a forty-five degree angle. The bone's sticking out, and his fingers are all like like this. And he seems to be carving the bone with a knife. He he seems like. Very similar to a zombie, but his his, his faculties seem there. Um, and he's just minding his own business. He's about 30 feet away, kind of sitting on, on some steps doing that. He's shaving his own arm bone with All a... Alright, well, I don't know what you guys are going to do, but I think I found my soul candidate, so... Let's I'm not just summon Solarion. Oh, okay. God! <laughs> okay. We are just... He's got, I, he's got I, his, I, his his, I, his I'm gonna, skin. I can't hold her back. His skin is obviously like spoiling from the inside. It's got this greenish sort of hue. One of his eyes is literally starting to hang out. Like you can see, his his eyelid is basically the only thing keeping it in place. He's wearing um, sort of a button up. It almost looks like a like a like a captain's uniform. I'm gonna yell at him. Hey! It's just a noise. He doesn't seem to uh, pay attention. There's lots of noise here. I try to, I'm going to walk over to him. Okay. As you walk over to him, you get within about five feet before he notices. And he just looks up at you. You have a soul? Yeah! I'm going to grab uh, him. Oh, God. 
I'm gonna okay, cast. Roll an athletics I'm, check. <laughs> I want to cast something when I have a chance. Okay, after the athletics check. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. Um. Twenty-two. Zero. As you just <laughs> pick him up by the neck, and he's like, <laughs> as you walk. And I'm gonna. Yeah, walk him over. As you turn, you see uh, uh, Professor is casting a spell. What is it? Um. Oh, God. I'm going to cast... I always feel like I pronounce this wrong. G-E-A-S. Gaius. How's that pronounced? Gaius. Gaius? I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, God. Uh, it's probably Gaius. Gaius? Gaius? I like Gaius. Gaius. Okay, I'm going to cast that Gaius. on Alenia. Oh, uh, my God. Um, so you need to make a wisdom. Oh, it's a wisdom save. So that's probably gonna. Oh, you're probably gonna murder this guy. <laughs> can I, can I cast Bane? I mean. Oh, I actually rolled kind of low, so you might have a chance here. Uh. What is uh it? She's already rolling it. Oh, you wanted to cast Bane before? Yeah. Nineteen. Uh, that's right. Hold on. Wait. 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 Did wait, I fail? Did you fail? Yeah, my spell save DC is 20. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the Gaius? I'm going to say, Alenia, you are not going to harm anyone who doesn't attack us first. Let me read that. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, it's just normal Alenia uh, now. Wow, well, yeah. Well. yeah right. No, this is gonna just... be bad. This is gonna be bad. You place a magical command on a creature that can you can see within range. She was within 60 feet easily, forcing it to carry out some service or refrain from some action or course of activity as you decide. If the creature can understand you, it must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you for the duration. Can you be charmed? Uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not okay. like a half elf or anything. Well, I didn't know if I don't know. Paladins get weird. Um. While the creature is um, charmed wait. by... I think my armor actually... Let me see. Let me double check this. Um... Ah. You can issue any, any command you choose. Advantage on magical effects saves. So technically I have advantage on the roll. What does it say? Magic resistance? Uh, yes. Okay, then you would... You should be rolling with advantage forever. Oh, okay. Um, you just have magic resistance on your armor. I don't know why you haven't been doing that. Um, I, I try job. to, but I don't always. Uh, <laughs> that means that a charisma uh, save should have been with advantage. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wait, really? Does that count as a magical? No, different. I figured it was a magical yeah, that's why effect. I, this okay. is an environmental effect. That's why um, I always forget, because I'm like... Some people that might rule that magical? way. I wouldn't. I would rule that. Because... I, in my opinion, I th I feel like it's just a different force that you're not familiar with, rather than magic, where you are familiar with that enough to have advantage. That's on that. fair. Anyway, um, um, because you would have known, actually, roll me an intelligence check, Isilius, because you wanted to cast Bane. Um, but you found out she failed, and then you just didn't do it. So, so to see if. So I should roll again. Five. Five. Okay, never mind. You wouldn't have known in time to do it because you wouldn't Ooh, have understood what Professor was doing. I think that's going to be high enough to pass, though. Even though it's still... What is it? Um... You do have luck. There is that. Yeah, you can force me to re-roll. Yes, if it's <laughs> if it's high enough, I want you to re-roll that uh, shit. I'm pretty sure it's a 20, uh, 21. Three okay, re-roll. Re three rolls. <laughs> three rolls. All right, so roll so again. Have you have to take the one, lower right? one. You just the have to take. You have to take the lower one. That's how luck works. She can force you to uh, take the lower. The lower between all three rolls. I think. That's no, how luck between works, this right? last or... one. Oh well, I still pass because this one's higher. Shit. It has to be the luck dice, not not the other. I it's not, that... it, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, no, no. The other one gave you. You had advantage. You got to roll that one. The luck dice is you roll again, and you have to. T if if that one's lower, you have to take it. I thought that the it way that luck, luck specified, you, you get to actually choose out of the three, 
I don't if believe. you have advantage or disadvantage. I I'm don't... pretty sure that's how it works. Only if you use luck on your own self. Yeah. No, you can do it when you make someone roll with... with then uh... it would be dog shit. Yeah, no. Oh, the... Because you had advantage. You didn't have disadvantage. It's a single D20 roll that you can right. change. So right. I would think it's the interpretation this... would be I, I am right. picking the D20 that was this the advantage is, I mean, that succeeded. This is how it works, regardless of what you look up. So, okay. Um, well, either way, so I'm you, going you succeed. to yeah. pass... Yeah. Yeah. Fucking sucks. Yeah, it does suck. But yeah, um, paladin or we're just really good at saving. Um, I'm going to cast okay. when I can. Well, I she's know got there's a gonna whole be... action. I know. Yep. I know. So uh, now it's her action. And anybody else can do anything besides Professor for this. There's, there's only... something I want to do immediately after she does what she's gonna do. Immediately after? Yes. Okay. So. Uh, you are right. I mean, it was only 30 feet away. You, you, you walked 20 feet, grabbed him, turned around, walked another five feet end a turn. You can walk another 15. So right there, you're literally right there. Yeah. So what do you want to uh, do? I'm going to. As you shrug this off and you sort of look at professor, like, how dare you? Like that, yeah, uh, James Franco gift. I'm my process here. Okay. Uh, I don't have any like short weapons. I just have Solarion. So, um, or not Solarion. I have Hope's Point. I keep saying Solarion. And the two point. of you are still looking at this, and you have I'm actions going to that use haven't the done edge anything. of the blade to slit his throat. I mean, I, I can't stop her. You can. I don't have a way. You can do whatever you want. I don't care what you do. I'm just saying you have the opportunity to do something. You could say words okay. to her if you wanted, if you don't want her to do it. You could just be like, nope. I that's fine. I don't, I don't think there's I don't care stopping you... with words at this well, point. You don't know. So it's the only a... thing I I've been thinking about doing is killing the slave before she can. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then I uh, silly she didn't this want to do anything bad. until after. Not until after she. Okay. Slid. So you go like this. Um, well, I mean, you still have to do damage and stuff. So. Um, It'll be an automatic critical. How are you? What damage are you putting into it? He has hit points, so. Uh. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to. Like, do a smite. I think I'm just gonna like. I don't know. I guess it would count as just normal damage of the spear. <laughs> okay, that's what you want to do. So I don't have to roll to hit. It's automatic crit. I just need to roll damage. Correct. Kind of low. Double the dice. Uh, twenty-one points of damage. Okay, as you slice into the neck of this strange zombie-like individual, um, you cut halfway through the head and it just goes. <laughs> Oh god! And it's writhing in your hands, and he's gonna try oh, to get out fun. of your grapple, and then you can cast your spell while this is happening. Um, Hold on. Yep. Roll an athletic. Not you. Not you. Oh, okay. Not your turn. Um, uh, this is basically just consider it one round of combat, and then you're up. Um, so after Isilius, and then after this, you can go. Uh, so roll an athletics check, Elenia. And then I silly is whatever oh, you're doing. That's low. Uh, nine. Nine? Seventeen. Yeah, it, really the, the, the head the head sort of <laughs> snaps backwards and he just starts going <laughs> and running uh in a random direction away from oh you. Oh god. Uh okay, oh. he's running right towards the gate. Uh are you doing anything, I silly is? He, well, he, he's taken he's taken a one step as he goes, and his head is just back here. This is so fucked up. Is he? Is he it, it's time. I mean, you gotta make a call. Does he have circulation? You don't know. I just sliced like halfway through his neck. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> I get in between him and Elenia and roll roll. Continue. Ready, spare the dying. Uh, 
Okay. <sighs> roll me... Roll me an acrobatics check. And then Elenia, he's going to get out of your reach, so you will get a reaction. 24. I'm going to try to stab him through the back. Okay, so your attack has to beat a 24. <gasps> okay. Let's see. Come on, dice. Oh, no! What is it? It's uh, an 18. Does an 18 beat your <laughs> AC? Yeah. Okay, so so, <laughs> what happens is, uh, uh, as you as you step in front, uh, you feel this warm sensation in your abdomen, and you look down, and Elenia has stabbed you about six inches into your into your gut, under just underneath your breastplate. Elenia rolled damage, and uh, the guy is going. As he continues to run a little bit. Uh, and um, while that happens... 20 hap points of damage. 20 points of damage? Yeah. Woo! And I'm going to go get out of my way or I'll kill you too. Uh, as that happens, Professor has a spell. And, oh. and uh, Velios can do something if you want. Yeah, I'm just... At this point, you're like... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to cast... Mass suggestion on Elenia, and I'm going to incur disadvantage, so it'll be a normal roll with intellectual superiority. Okay. Okay. So you need to be. And so, Icilius, because you got hit, you can't turn just yet to do Spare the Dying, and plus he can't. So you took 20. Okay, mass suggestion, you only want to do it on one person, though? Yes. Okay. And I think it's to be my rogue, but on my paladin today. <laughs> and what's what's the what's the suggestion? Hey. Oh, it's gonna be uh, 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 yep. for the next twenty four hours. You will not attempt to harm anyone who does not attack us first. <laughs> uh, okay, could have chosen up to twelve people. Chooses one. I know. It's well, okay. what am I, I'm not going to start, you no, know, it's random. Fine. It's fine. I, that, I, I, I don't could really have care. Used to I just, start your coup. Yeah. I, I just thought that. <laughs> so, I have more spell <laughs> slots, eh? I could. So, so, so. Don't give her ideas. So, uh, Elenia, you have a save, and what? It's a wisdom, you say? Or charisma? I don't know. I, don't uh, know. I believe it's. Hold on. Let me double check. Sound mm. like charisma. If uh, it's charisma, that's bad. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Uh, well, hold wisdom. On. wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Yep. Okay, wisdom is a much better chance of me failing. Wisdom, as the spear hey! is sunk into a silly abdomen for, for a once. My low rolls are kind of coming in handy here, because uh, that would be so it's a normal an, roll. Yeah, an eleven. Yes. An eleven with intellectual superiority, which I believe uses a charge of that, right? So yes. Okay, uh, as you. Sort of. <laughs> Pull the spear out, and you're not going to hurt anybody for 24 hours. But there's another part unless of you. Attack us first. Unless they attack you first. And then there's another part of you that's like, yeah, you are. Uh, Evelia's at this point. Ouch! Fuck! You're, for, you're able to. Ah! <laughs> Finally make a noise oh, as the yeah, pain Avelius? finally strikes you. Oh. Did I say Avelius? Yeah. <laughs> I was bad. like, I still what's fucking I was looking me? I was looking right, <laughs> I was looking right at Randy, but I must... I... <laughs> what do you want to do? Are we done trying to kill people now? Is that person still like around with their fucking neck slit open? Fine, but he's Do you want to look? Be dead. Yes. Might as well okay, you look and he's he's run into as you look from whatever you were doing. He's run into the barbed fencing and he's now impaled on one of the long 3-foot barbs that comes off the bars. He's just like <laughs> Oh, with God. his head sort of back like this and it's you can see it sort of ripping and sort of losing purchase on his own. Okay. 
You're I'm wasting gonna... a perfectly good soul for us to get I'm in I'm trying to keep no. you from killing someone! I'm gonna walk up to them. Why are they? You... How impaled are they? They're all the impaled you can be. <sighs> it's right, it's all the way through. He's okay, not I'm gonna quite, try and... He's not quite dead. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try and get them off and as then it, heal as him. It seems to be, as it seems to be through a non-vital area, you're gonna heal... You know, if you try to heal them, they're just going to... They're, it's probably, like, illegal. Okay, you know, normally you're the person who cares about stuff like this, so this is new for me, so just get... Ah! He continues to writhe, and you see it ripping through his body. <laughs> takes more damage. Ah, uh, that looks... I wanna be... Abelius, you wanna, you wanna help with that? Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. help with Professor. Okay, so Professor so what are you now? gonna do? Abelius. Mm -hmm. Can I do a survival check to see if there's a better way to get him off without hurting him more? Uh, you are running out of time. So if you want to spend that and hope he doesn't die in the meantime, you can. Look, just, or I just give, kill him. It'd be, him. A, it'd be more it of a already. medicine. Just put him out of his misery and we'll use his soul, okay? Okay, so you have, you have put him out of his misery or heal him, and you're both looking right now. Professor, you're staring at... You guys make eye contact as a Velios. You look at Professor. Professor looks at you. You look back at the guy. What is your compulsion? I was the one who suggested <laughs> sacrificing a slave. So, what you've been holding your you've been holding your <laughs> action. I want you to have this on her conscious. You, you've been you've been holding your action this whole time. It is up to you. I'm you can try to make a medicine check and pull them off. I'm gonna uh, need some modify memory therapy. Or you can you can do something else. Up to you. You will have advantage on the medicine check because Professor Fuck. is helping, but. Uh, she has devoted her action to suggestion right now. Make We're a call. Roll dice for this. Okay. Ah, fuck. We're killing it. All right. So, well, how are you doing it? I'm gonna shoot it right through the head. Just You're... put it out. You see, there's this there's this moment where Evelios reaches forward and then takes a quick step back and goes, roll an attack. Ah, I fucking nat twenty did. That's what I did. Holy shit! <laughs> it's you, fucked, Lance. You can roll damage because it's fun to find out how much damage you did with that single attack. Uh, but it's not gonna be. I rolled an eight on my damage dice too. Are you serious? Bro, what the fuck? Is this? That's twenty four. <laughs> okay, so you with go with one arrow. You go, and this familiar blue thin. Almost needle like bead of force. And the head goes. Oh, and then that was it, supposed ah. to be mine! And then the guy, the, 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 the large leathery creature on top goes. <gasps> and starts. The, the, you can see this. Okay, like, when they gate this, open, you can see this, all run through. You can see this wisp, like, yeah. flow out of the mouth and in, in ears and eyes of this individual. And then the bars move. Go. The, bo the body slumps and falls down, and the bars go around you as you. Your your camera is very fuzzy. Suddenly. Oh, why is it fuzzy? I think you move too close, and then because mine does And you background. walk right through the bars. See, I told you. All no, you have to do no. is murder someone. Nope, this is really bad. Okay, I I I respect. The the vigor for violence that could potentially help us, uh, you know, get rid of get rid of people in power here, so that I can be in charge, which is clearly the best course of look, action. Look, but this is real bad. Idea? I'll just, I'll just only brutally murder every single person who dares get in our way. No, 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 no. Okay, this is like a crisis situation because you're the one who's supposed to tell us to do good things and not bad things, and now about? and. And Avelios popped that guy's head after you slit his throat, and that makes uh Yeah, I'm, I'm... really jealous. What the fuck, Avelios? What is the You'll what understand the in the future, I promise you. <laughs> You'll you get it. You'll understand in the future. Why You'll you understand. Me? I thought I'm, we were friends. I'm gonna look to Isilius and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the, like a what the fuck do we do, face? <laughs> Uh, Paladin's gone wild. By the way, uh, is Elenia the only one with religion? With what? With yeah. Does Elenia even have religion? Does anyone have religion? I do. 
like a do you have religion uh, like as a no. as a proficiency yeah, correct I have it. okay Elena, you can roll a religion check Nat 20? <laughs> so <a> 27. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send you another picture. Oh, God. Uh, this is, this is, you were trying to identify the person that you killed. Okay. As they're arguing, you can continue your argument, by the way. <laughs> or your, or your less argument, more your, more your panic, I suppose. There you go. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. It's kind of fucked up anyway. So I mean, we honestly did the world a favor. No, 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 no. You're not gonna think that when we. Uh, do, can I roll an insight to see if. The professor at this point understands that similar to last time we are being affected by with disadvantage. Okay. So wait, it was the person, the body wasn't the thing. It was a nine. Mm-hmm. Nine. Oh. Uh, yeah, you don't know. That wasn't a person, by okay. the way. What was it? It was a corpse. Oh. Possessed by a demon. Even better. <laughs> Feel okay. less bad. That's, that's maybe a little better. I'm not sure in terms of, but it had a soul. And it seems to me that typically... That's something you 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 care about. I'm very a lot confused. Of have souls. Yeah, but you normally like care. Isilius doesn't have one. Right. Sure. Okay, but like you you don't even eat meat. You like eat eat. <laughs> you you don't even eat like animals. So the fact that you're killing sapient things is it's just fun. Have you never thought about how fun it is? Okay. <laughs> We don't kill needlessly, Anya. We kill all the time. But for reasons! For reasons we... Like, they're they're attacking us. Yeah, the reason is that it's fun. No, 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 no. no. That is not... We very <laughs> recently even had covers... Even Avelios, who makes a sword <laughs> with his own blood, goes, Wait, there's utility to this. <laughs> we just don't kill because... <laughs> We had a conversation before we went to Elysium where you explicitly talked to us about the the the, the and then unnecessary saw, violence. Honestly, it, violence got us where we needed to be. The, yeah. Oh, what has happened? We killed a bunch of angels and we killed No. We killed the Valkyrie Prime. Well, Got close to it. She took okay. that from us. But you're okay. You're a Lenya, though, right? You have the wings. Mm -hmm. Your people look to you for like hope and all that junk. And this needs to not be happening. Okay. You need to. You need to refocus to to being the moral. What? I'm being myself, okay? And right now you're pissing me off. I don't think you're being yourself. You keep and getting it's in the way of me trying to to just have a blow off a little bit of steam. By murder, by blatantly murdering people in cold blood. Yes. You see well, her. You see her hand. Home. You see her hand go like this to summon the spear, but it doesn't work because of your suggestion spell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! We needed a soul. I killed him while I was about well, to, and we got through the gate. We did not even attempt to explore other options. We did the it's coup, the which I still think is a good idea. We're we should still, when we get back, Look, probably in the we want to go, we're gonna have to murder so many people. And honestly, that's in the service of a goal. That's in service of a benevolent dictatorship, which is a perfectly fine idea that's never gone wrong in the history of the world. Trust me, I know a lot about history. So, okay, we're gonna talk her down from this, and then we're gonna talk you down from that. <laughs> I look. Can I... we? 
either way, your your no. wanton bloodlust. The next twenty four hours, it, it's 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 impotent at best. So maybe just let it go. It's not gonna make me feel any better. I'm just gonna think about how much I want to kill. Okay. Everything. You can think about it all you want. Th fantasy is is your own. Okay. It's not out loud. <laughs> It's just in your head. Where's that gonna go if I don't say anything or do anything? Just bottle it up. You just put it deep inside until it, it burns, and then yep. one day you die, and it's fine. <laughs> then I don't get to kill anyone or have any fun. No, what the no, fuck is there, the there will be that? killing in the future, I promise. As but soon right as I'm now, done with this nothing. Spell, I might kill you. The, you're not gonna. Okay. You're, you're not gonna. Okay. I'm just gonna. I think any three of us against one of the other ones would definitely kill the I one. Can take on Agnir. Oh, that was one. That was one of us. Yeah. I. She, you she could not kill, kill three him. of us at once. You just couldn't do it. We're fighting about stupid shit, and we should probably go. Keep walking. Forward. Overthrow the. Leadership? So no. I can... no one wants you as a leader. I do, and I think that's the important thing because I'm going to be the dictator, so my will is kind of like You're the not big... You're the leader of this group! <laughs> right, so, you know, I can I can pop in and do Keeper of Eight stuff, and then the rest of the time I'll spend uh, my, my time as a dictator of the Abyss. For fuck's sake, let's go. I just... Uh, my... <laughs> I'm about to go off for my own fucking soul. <laughs> Like, holy shit. <laughs> it's so hard to give a straight face. On <laughs> Continuing on? Yes, Hopefully please. Hopefully something attacks us so I can... No. All right. I hope, I hope <clears throat> all that happens is we meet a bunch of friendly kittens the rest of the way. I'll so you don't kittens. get... Okay, so uh, you continue to walk along uh, in the rough direction of the uh, uh, palace that you see. Um, you, as you pass uh, by these by these buildings, you can hear on the insides of them um, uh, maniacal. Uh, emotions <laughs> there's there's like screaming and there's uh, wails of pleasure and there's there's the there's people laughing and there's people crying and there's people um definitely you hear the sounds of of, of gore <coughs> but you also hear the sounds of like camaraderie it's 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 a chaotic uh cacophony of just this this constant sort of dull buzz of of conversation um in all of its extremes <coughs> um uh you God, I wish that were me you you turn you turn a corner and uh, there's sort of this this open area and there's a fountain in the middle of what looks to be like a normal town square um but the fountain is made of this black obsidian <laughs> and it's just a spire and um as the spire reaches a point um, there are stacks of bodies that have just been routinely skewered on top of this. As you can see, the weight of them slowly pushes them down until it gets too wide. Then the bodies split and fall into the fountain basin around, uh, which has created this sort of, this sort of, uh, corpse art piece. Um, you can still see there's there's two or three of them at the top that are still wriggling and alive, um, and uh, uh, there's sitting on top of the spire is another um, um, winged creature, but this one has like a sort of a longer face and like a beak, um, and it's just just perched on top, and it's it's <laughs> picking at the at the at the flesh on this. Um, Semi human it has multiple arms. Um and but it does have legs too. It's not like the the general that you fought before. Um it's some sort of form that you've never seen before as it as it just sort of 
<laughs> wails in uh, in pain as this thing sort of chews on it. Um, you continue past that as people are sort of sitting there laughing and then making they're like making jokes, like <laughs> look at that fucker. As as you see, just these these demons sort of lined up, sort of looking at it. They lose interest after a couple seconds and then and then continue to move on to whatever they're doing. Um, uh, there's this the path sort of widens into this main thoroughfare, and um, it becomes easier to start to 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 walk through instead of these winding, uh, sort of labyrinthian city streets. And uh, you uh, uh, end up at what looks to be like a like a demon lemonade stand. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a ramshackle, yeah. it's built of, it's built of maybe wood or, or, or maybe bones, but they're, they're like brownish, um, and sort of have, have like a polish to them. Um, it's, it's large because the creature itself is also pretty large. Um, but it's, it's a... <laughs> there are chains in the ground that are attached to this roiling, floating ball of flesh with with uh, a face in it. Um, it's It's got, like, the greens of ooze. You can see, like, what looks like snot or mucus and blood mixed together, just sort of, like, dripping off of it. Um, and it seems to be, like, if these chains weren't attached, it would just float away like a balloon. And it's just floating there. And in f on this sort of again, it it's like a like a like a kiosk, like a lemonade stand. And then on there are these these black glass uh, cups. Um, they're big, um, but they look just like cups. And um, <clears throat> as as you walk forward, um, in abyssal, the two of you can read uh, uh, a taste of salt. <laughs> you come for a taste of salt. Shit, I was muted. No? Yes. Yes, you have. Come for a taste of salt. Take a cup. <sighs> taste of salt? Yeah. I'm not gonna try this. Taste of salt. <laughs> what is I that? mean, I'm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it. I'm yeah, fine sure. without the taste Look of it. salt. You need it. You'll trick out can you? On the way. Why do we need it? <laughs> Why do you need it? It's salt. Otherwise, you be dissolved. dissolved. So this is an. You said this is an abyssal, right? Yeah. Okay. What will we be dissolved by? <laughs> Don't drink it and find out. You look I in, think. and it's just this brackish, <laughs> thick, like, I mean, you're talking like a KFC bucket of chicken-sized cup of this, like, like, saliva consistency, salty substance. It it looks clearish like water. Um, but there's, like, you could see, like, grains of salt in it. If this is a scam, I'm gonna count this as, um... On a, no. Hurting us. I don't think that's okay. how that works. I don't... Sure I said an attack, works. specifically. It's an attack on our health. That's... Mm -hmm. Should have been more specific, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like a wish spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, I'll take the stupid salt. Uh, all right. You, you you grab the mug in here. I mean, you could do that if you want to from behind you. And you turn, and there's this um, blue-skinned, very very buff. He has an open an open shirt uh, on the front with um, these sort of uh, chain armored. It looks it looks very similar to a um, uh, to the the shoulder pads of like a, a captain's outfit that you'd see on the open seas um, with a with a red sash around his waist. These these um, long buckled boots. And over his shoulder, he's holding a pristine, white, um, obviously divine axe with the dancing gods, Aga and Gila, wrapped in 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 uh, uh, sexual pleasure um, uh, in the center, um, uh, uh, in the middle of these two large. Celestial blades uh, on his chest. He has this strange-looking medallion. It sort of looks like a, like a, like a black eye sunburst. Um, horns that come around like this and, and and almost come out like tusks, but they have these these brass caps on them that go very far back. Uh, he's a huge buff tiefling. I mean, that stuff might eat your insides. Is this also an abyssal? <laughs> no. No? Common. So, this will eat our insides, but whatever's ahead will dissolve us if we don't He's, he's not necessarily lying. You shut up! <laughs> Who are you? So, what's he omitting? Well, he works for uh, <laughs> another one of the demon lords, Sibriax. It was a, uh, it looks very similar to this guy, but, uh, <laughs> even grosser. So, competition? Hmm. Hi, uh, my name's Burn. Elenia. Reaches his hand out to shake it. I'll shake it, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's, you can see he's got, he's got a massive scar that kind of runs from the cheek through his top lip. They sort of gives it, like, a cleft feel, sort of like, um... Uh, Joaquin Phoenix a little bit, and then it comes down to the other one as his lip is split in two, but he has uh, piercings on either side of the lip um, to kind of ex almost accentuate it. And it comes down through his chin. You can see there's like a piece of the his chin, which would otherwise be this like really robust, um, incredibly masculine cleft chin. Like like a third of it is just cut off and, and gone. Um, and it's obviously, it's healed over time. And there's, uh, it doesn't. it's the only patch that doesn't grow this sort of, like, stubble-like facial hair. Ah. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He's not wrong. You're gonna need something to protect you against the river salt stuff. But, uh... <laughs> uh well, you drink that stuff, you're gonna be, uh... Marked. You don't want that. Uh... Thanks. They're gonna pass. They're gonna pass. He goes... Oh, you little fuck! <laughs> Pulls the axe up on his thing. Really? Give it's me like, a reason right now. Please. I'll cut the chain. I'll cut it. You float away. Then probably near the roiling little sun. <sighs> you fucking work. And they sort of have an argument for a second. <laughs> anyway. Notice you guys walking around the city a little bit. Lost like puppies. Are you from around here or? Yeah, obviously. Never know. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, there's a. Uh... The, the <laughs> what was that? Isn't that normally a hell's thing? No, it's both. Ah. Demon devils. Similar shit. Well, when your uh, daddy <laughs> can't keep it in his pants. Ah. Then he makes a deal to get rid of you. But you're not getting rid of him. Sometimes you turn into this. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, do you know how to 
protect oneself across the river? Of course. Follow me. Okay. <clears throat> sort of walks. And you can see as the axe is over his shoulder, uh, uh, Evelius and Icilius, because of your passive perception. And I think that's it. Yep. Um, you can see actually the, uh, the two figures are actually moving. Are they like, fucking? Always. They're fucking. It's sort of like standing. It's sort of like, it's sort of like, they're, 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 they're swirled up and it's sort of an artsy, like, they're both standing straight up. Fuck, it doesn't really make a lot of, a lot of physical sense. You know, like in a shitty Showtime movie or something. Where they stand like straight up next to each other and sort of writhe. Like, that's not how penises work. Um, unless you have a front facing vagina, which is dope. Um, Some people just have a lot of curve, okay? I mean, there's curve and then there's bending the laws of physics and penises. So, um, you know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. He has an incredibly large silver codpiece. <laughs> Um, with a, with a design, I totally oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention this giant shiny dick. Uh, he does, and it and it's and it's also got uh, Aga and Gila uh, uh, upon it. As we sort of go, I'm gonna say, so I see you have a weapon that's having sex with itself constantly. <laughs> that's yeah. interesting. Where yeah. you get that? Oh, I want it off an angel. Oh. Seems. That doesn't seem typical for angels. What do you Is mean? It modified? I mean the sex part. Why? I didn't see anything like that in Elysium. <laughs> totally different place. Oh. Uh, yeah. Elysium. No, uh, Elysium's about rebirth and birth. Where do you think the birth happens? Well, yeah. The fuck. Like I don't know. These guys. <laughs> These are the facilitators of fuck. It's a good point. You yeah. don't like follow them religiously or anything, do you? you just, just... Of course I do. Oh. Why wouldn't I? How am I going to kill devils? Not some divine might. In this case, it's fuck. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah. Um... So you, We're actually kind of looking to learn more about Agagila as well, so it's <coughs> kind of fortunate. Pulls out this large cigar. It's like it's like probably eight inches long. And he lights it up. <sighs> what, I mean, what do you want to know? Uh, by the way, uh, any of y'all hungry? You can stop by uh bar. They have food for people that aren't. Uh, yeah, we run humans. it. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you got this slime shit. I don't know what's going on over here. Uh, there's some weirdos here, but uh, <laughs> job to be done. Got to live in the weirdo city. It's all right. It's got its perks. Let's see. Anyway, as we walk and talk, it's going to take a little bit. Any questions? As he blows this thick puff of smoke as he walks in front of all of you. And it wafts back as you have to walk through the cloud. And it it smells like um, like cedar and earth. And um, a little bit of like like this this spice. It smells like some like a like a very rich uh, cigar you'd get on the material plane. Well, we know that they're tied to the elemental planes. Yeah, of course. But how are they tied to the elemental planes? What do you mean? Like... <coughs> if you were to say that there's like a thing that represents their power on each of the material planes, mm -hmm. would you know what that would be? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's a weird question. Okay. I don't know how else to ask. Them. I don't know either. How would you describe that for Lathander? Said you went to Elysium. Well, Lathander himself, because he's like. Lathander himself is his own power source. Not his <laughs> no. power source. I mean, like, like a, a manifestation. <laughs> a what? 
like a manifestation of, uh, or a physical form, or... What does Agangila look like? Is that what yeah, you're asking? Like, where? Where do they look like? No, where did... Where I thought we stay? already had uh, an answer to this. We had to go to the four no, elemental planes, the four and then there, planes. and then it, there was like an intersection of them in the center that once we get all the stuff, that's where they are. Yeah. Here mentioned all that to us. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're part, that we had to... they live in the elemental chaos. Is that what you're asking? Where their realm is? That's what. Wow, that was a yeah. terrible way to ask that question. Just I awful. I don't know much about planes. That's usually her thing. She's also got bloodlust on the brain, so it's true. Oh, you got the you got anybody. the side effect. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Yeah, come here. Come here. Uh, just okay. come here. I'll, I'll go over. All right. He grabs your face. He looks you deep in the eyes. Smirks. Then he casts greater restoration on you. <laughs> And you Might are no longer remember. under the effect of that. Well. <sighs> oh. Can you God. try it on, on, on our other friend here? She keeps talking about oh. trying to this place. I hey, no 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 no. Okay, this plan is great. Uh, uh, just uh, just try it. No 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 no. Look, I'm gonna take over and I'm gonna stop the slavery and I'm gonna be in charge. I'm gonna okay. be in yeah, charge. Okay. And I'm go. Gonna make wait, sure wait, wait 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 wait. I want to hear her out. I want to hear her out. No interrupting. That's very. I want to make sure. Everything goes fine. With an iron fist, I will ensure peace and tranquility for the entire <laughs> realm. Hell yeah, sister. All right. Fine. Hey, I like that. And he puts out some nucks. I'll, I'll fist bump. All right, and he yeah. casts greater restoration when you... <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. All right, your uh, delusions of grandeur gone. Oh, God. Yeah, that don't I don't want to be in charge of people or yeah oh thank you you're welcome i told you it would make sense in the future i <sighs> i didn't like that all right i only got one more charge that's why i shit. did it anybody else need any good stuff i think we're Everybody good. good all right cool that's worth good uh, so Silius, are you okay uh this is like a I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm going to no. use lay on hands to give him the 20 hit points back. I, that was not me. That's I, why I did that. So you want to do something you regretted. But I hurt you. I, and like you said, it's better we get hurt than other people. Do. You see, <laughs> you see this fella. Standing there, and he brings that. He grabs an ivory comb and he starts combing his long black hair. You almost done. Yeah, I'm sorry. That just was not the person He's that got I some am. Baby hairs that hang down on his forehead. You're very helpful here, yeah. which is unusual. Well, I ain't a demon. Demons are I fucking know, but... nuts. We don't tend to meet a lot of people in, you know... Well, like ones abyss. that aren't enslaved, you probably saw a few of them, but... Yeah. That's what happens when you make a deal with a demon. Better than making a deal with the devil, though. Devils just want to torture you. Demons, it's a crapshoot. There's a chance you have an okay time. No, Pleasure sorry. Palace is a great example. We've been there, and we made a sort of a deal before. Yeah. Well, don't make any deals with Succubi. That's how you end up in the Pleasure Palace. If you don't want to be there, that's how not to do it. We or an Incubus. Running. Same shit. Yep. No, I've witnessed it. Yeah, well... Little powwow done? We can keep moving? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great, great, great. Well, that's excellent. All right, anybody want a cigar? Sort of pops open a little... little these big ass uh, cigars. No, no, thank you. It's good stuff. No? <laughs> I'll try one. Sure. Good. All right. All the way from Veldorf. Here you go. I'll take one and I'll. 
option out puts a, it's a nice little case it's like sort of this gold trimmed and 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 marble case and then he pops that back to the satchel uh you want me to light it for you you got it uh yes please yeah i wouldn't say no puts his two fingers up and <laughs> lights any cigars anyone's smoking it was Avelia smoking okay. a cigar? Okay. No. This is the two of you. Uh, uh, okay, has Professor ever had a cigar? I know Icilius has. He drinks whiskey, so. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's a refined man. I would say at some point the Professor probably has. Not often, but. Okay, all right. Yeah, probably, definitely in former incarnation. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so you, you guys, you, you kind of get it. It's about the flavor. Um... Sure. Maybe at some point, it's, Cal it's comically, in the, it's, in the it, alive episodes that never happened. Right, it's really, com <laughs> it's it's comically big in your hands, uh, being a short person. Uh, you realize at this point, he's like, he's got to be like pushing seven foot tall. Um, but everything else has been like kind of bigger than him so far, and so <laughs> the scale came down, and then you just got cured of your megalomania. So, um, uh. As you continue on. Uh, so, are you part of the demon stew? <laughs> the demons? No, 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 no. Okay. I'm part of the... Uh, the devil's what? Doom. Devil's, devil's doom. doom. Oh, the devil's doom. Yes. Yep. I'm one of them. We, uh... You know... We go on, uh, basically, well, I don't want to say too much, but let's just say me and the axe here, we have a, uh, a deal. And, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to, uh, keeping that deal going. You have a deal with your weapon? <laughs> well, yeah. Is this like when you get really lonely, so you start talking to inanimate it's, objects? It's clearly like no. a, a religious thing, like okay. a celestial thing. Yeah. He's getting power from the gods he follows, and in return, he has uh, to... follows a strong word. Well, I have agreed in exchange for service uh, and power. I have agreed to do what they want me to do. To a certain extent. And that just happens to be also what uh, the Prince Grazit also likes. So, uh, <laughs> I found his employ and uh, it's been beneficial so far. Speaking of Prince Grazit. Yeah. Uh, we've met him once before and we need to talk to him again somehow. Mm, okay. But we have no idea how to contact him. You kind of don't. Well, last time we talked to the Planeswalkers and they got us an audience. Planeswalkers? Amateurs. This is a gallon of gas. This is Fogtown. Take shit seriously here. <laughs> At least it's better than Dark Flame, though. Is there, a, like, a rivalry? <laughs> no, that implies that they are rivals. <laughs> well, um, we need to seek another audience with Grazit. By any means necessary. Hmm. Well, he's not going to open his doors unless you bring him an offering. Such as? Last time, it, well, it was probably <laughs> the head of a demon lord that was mm. not listening to him, so. Mm-hmm. Mm well, I wouldn't be going killing demons unless you got explicit consent from, uh, well, the guy in charge of these, uh, this realm right here. But, uh, what I do think we could do, instead of paying you, you want to help me out on something? You look, no way you got here without having some abilities, and I saw you stab that fella right there. Uh,. Sure. Let's Try talk about it at the bar. Okay. Any points 
over and there's a large um I say large, it's humongous. It's a skull of what looks to be a, a, the skull the size of a house of this massive demon with these horns that sort of sprout other horns similar to antlers but it's still one big uh, uh or I guess two big horns the eyes it seems to have like four or five eyes it's it would have been titanic when it was not a, just a skull um you don't know what the rest is and the mouth is open and and out of it um there seems to be a a, a bar within you can actually see people sitting in tables in the eyes as these uh, it's a flame with this for the first time this this orange flame within instead of this sort of purpley brazier stuff that you're seeing on top um well welcome to devil's doom come on in and he sort of waves you in and there's a um uh quite a bit of of rambunctiousness and let me see if i can find yeah It feels like a normal tavern in here. You actually walk in, and um, as you pass the threshold, there's these um, um, I guess you could say there's these uh, elements. You see, you see these like sparks, sort of in the corners of the door, and as you as he walks through, it sort of f flashes a little bit. You following? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You... you all walk through just fine. You don't feel any different. Um, and uh, there's a. Um, uh, it looks like looks like pieces of the rest of the body of this individual have been crafted into pieces uh and then preserved you see a um the the you actually walk in on what at first is like a rug it's actually the tongue sliced thin and set down like a like a like a leather rug um that you that you walk across the uh tables seem to be made out of sinew and bone and then preserved in some sort of lacquer um, but otherwise it's, it's, it's not like, uh, it's not like the cat bar that you once visited where everything's like hyper grotesque. Um, behind the bar is another tiefling. Um, he seems to be a little spindly. Um, and he's almost, he's like a gray, but almost a green skin and he has long fangs. Um, and he's currently tending bar using, uh, his tail and a couple, um, um, you could barely see them. You could barely perceive them. They seem to be these, uh, well, it's Unseen Serpent. Uh, you've seen them inside the Magnificent Mansion of vaguely shaped hymns um, uh, doling out uh, uh, different different beverages to people. And a lot of people here look pretty normal. Um, there are some demons. There's, there's um, uh, specifically a large red-skinned and red-furred um, ape-like creature currently sitting and hunched over nursing a, a, a drink there's a couple um obvious um you know uh, uh horned people with leather wings um you do see a couple succubi um and an incubus um in it, next to what seems to be a um a higher up demon of some kind that seems to be in charge of them uh wearing armor and holding uh, or, or not holding, but on the back is a sword that is lightly aflame. Um, he sort of directs you over uh, to a booth in the corner. Uh, let's sit over here, and you see it's um, um, it seems to be made of the the front of the bottom jaw of something, and the seats are teeth, and then on top of that, it has like leather padding. Um, as you sit on this, uh, and he scooches the table over. Uh, he sort of puts his hand up and he just signals for five drinks to the bartender. Well then, what are your goals here? 
Oh goodness, this is a lot to start with, but we have two goals. We speak with Grazit, and we also need to get access into the hells. <coughs> I didn't realize you were so ambitious. All right. Well, uh, he sets the axe. Kind of, because he's kind of on the outside, he sets the axe up, and you just see them writhing together in the middle of this axe. Um, he looks over to it, and sort of nods, and looks over. Devils, huh? Hunting a devil is what I do, and you want to get to the hells for what reason? We need to find the god of suffering. You want to find Zix? Yes. Well, he's yep. in the, he's in the prison, obviously. But where? What? I, <laughs> what uh, I've got to. I've got to. I've got to chase this. What? Why? Why in the world okay. would you do such a thing? Uh, do you want like the long version or an abridged? I would, I would like whatever version is going to make the most sense. All right, I'm just going to lay it all out since you've been very upfront with us. Uh, yeah. We have been tasked by the God of Time to Toll. seek out, yes, all to right. seek out the power of other gods in order to stop a giant creature known as Zilladek from consuming all worlds, including this one, uh -huh. uh, so that it doesn't literally end existence as we know it. All right. Wow. We are three for six right now. What does that so... mean? Three of six, not three, three for of... six. Th yeah, three, three out of six of our god hunt, let's say. Yeah, we get that look a lot. I know it's a lot. <laughs> All right. So, you're dead serious. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a bit above my pay grade. Uh, okay. Well. To be totally honest with you, I was looking for some free labor. Uh, I figured that's why. But this is interesting. God of suffering causes a lot of problems for my people. All right. Here's what I say. You're not gonna be able to get. I mean, you're not going to be able to get close without some sort of super power. You're not going to be able to get close to, to this. You're not going to be able to get into the prison. I think Grazit might have that kind of power. You think Grazit would be willing to aid us <laughs> on that? Would he be willing to help you kill a god? Yeah. What's more excessive than that? True. That's true. <laughs> Thing is, you can't get an audience with the guy. He's busy in his fuck palace, which is great, by the way, and you should visit it under your own we, we've power. Been. We've already been there. We've been. Yeah, have you enjoyed under its pleasures? Mm. No. no. We didn't, weren't really interested. I gotta be honest. They do nameless things to you in there. Uh, we've seen. And some when you of come them. out, you're always chasing the dragon after, so to speak. Assuming you're there on purpose. If you go on accident, oof. I've seen many of people fall into that and then never come back out. You ever fuck yourself to death? Nope. Well, we're still alive, so no. Well, they'll teach you how. What do you mean you're still alive? Death is an imposition at this point for most people, isn't it? 
Well, instead of those stupid little farmers and shit up there, but where you all live, but death is... <laughs> you go where you go, hopefully someone brings you back. I've been seven times. Seven times? I'm running out, probably. It gets harder every time, but uh, I real, really want to be here, so... Apparently. Well. A couple people up there love me, it seems. Looks over the axe. <coughs> well. You ever kill a devil? Uh, I don't think, I don't I don't think, think so, we yet. have. Okay. But you've killed gods. Yeah. Have you personally killed the gods? Wait. No. No. None of those okay. were technically our hands. All right. I don't know we if any of you technically are ever going to kill a god necessarily, but <laughs> you still want to try to kill Zix. Maybe you'll get lucky this time. Who knows? Well, <laughs> the gods know. Huh. I mean... All right, I got a I got a small list here. Uh, tell you what, why don't we get some food first? I'll think over what I what I got going on, and uh, maybe we can help you out here. In, uh, <laughs> of course, this will be your payment. Sure. Okay. And my payment. Will be whatever else we find. That works. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, what do you like? As as you, several of the drinks uh, drop down, he says, "Oh, hold on a minute, chief." Uh, to drink or eat. Well, drinks are already here, so what do you like? Oh, uh, anything without meat, pretty much. Vegan? Oof. Same. Preferred. No meat, no meat. All right. Uh, sure. So, something vegan, I guess. And, what about you guys? I'm a simpler man. Any Anything will do. Anything will do? Yeah. You good, too? Whatever you think is interesting, I'll try. There's lots of interesting here. What's the most interesting? <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna go with interesting but edible for you. Uh, and, and and that for them. Thanks, buddy. And it just sort of floats away. I'm not a big fan of Gary. Yeah. He's Why? the worst server here. Uh. Anyway, and he sort of he sort of. Um, you see him sort of reach out into nothing, and a, a, a black book appears in his hand. He flips through some pages. Dead. Here's one. One of my bounties. Okay. Looks like we got Bozomad. You ever heard of Bozomad? No. Mm-mm. Uh, Elenia can make a history check. Actually, so can Evelios. What was this guy's name again, by the way? You're actually, Elenia's making a religion check. I'm sorry. This guy's Bern. B-E-R-N. Eighteen. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's interesting. Um, for some reason, Evelios 
as you sit here, you sort of are passively learning, you find, as you touch these spaces where incredibly evil individuals have existed before. Your ability to concentrate and and gain information um, is being triggered by itself with the just sort of the intensity of this place. And you're pretty sure that's the name of a pit fiend. Um, <laughs> pit fiends are big time. Um, specifically, uh, uh, they're, they're devil lords. Um, they are basically a step below whatever Graza is. Um, they're the generals of the Nine Hells, and this is one of them. Oh. Okay. Sounds fun. Well, it's not gonna be fun at all, but... Hmm, debatable. You bring that fucker's head to Graza, he's gonna give you whatever you want. Okay. Once. What if we need two things? Well, sorry. Good point. I think the second thing we'll have to talk about later. Maybe the second thing will be uh, another time you can get a reward or something and bring it to him. Who knows? But I can go with you for the pit fiend thing. Well, you go with me, rather. We can sneak in. Now, it's going to be in his army camp. So we're going to have to try to isolate him. We'll have a whole situation there when we get to that point, but... How many devils are typically, like, at his camp? Oh, you know. Lots. I never had to try to cleave through one of these devil camps before, so that's good. But the thing is, it's going to be near one of the gates to the abyss because that's where the blood wars are worst uh in fact the blood war is going to be the worst at the tippy top of the nine hells and i think that's where he might be because they are running out of generals as i keep killing them <laughs> well two so so you have experience i do Seven times. So. I've had about enough of that. But. I have more to do. Also, not for nothing, it's also, uh, well, this is Avernus. It's also the layer where Tiamat resides. So, uh, you might, we might run into some Abishai, which is not good. Oh. Yeah. It's like evil dragon things. Yeah. Yeah, they're 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 demons that look a little bit like dragons, oh. and they're super dangerous. So like hmm. two really bad things mushed into one. Well, Tiamat is, uh, <laughs> you know, kind of kind of hidden away, but still still tries to do, you know, bullshit Tiamat shit. So either way, we got we got travel on the river. We gotta smuggle in. <coughs> okay. Okay. Now. Zix, where the hell is he gonna be? Well, you said the prison. Yeah. But we kinda have directions. Well, I 
Avelio saw a, a secret passage off the river Styx. Mm hmm. That leads into the prisons. Well, the river kind of travels on all the levels of it as well. Not, not too dissimilar from this. But, uh. There was a tower? There was a tower. Alright, because he's gonna he's gonna go up and down and uh I mean could be could be in this second level there's an iron tower there was the tower made out of iron at Elias, or? It was black. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I just know it was a very tall tower, and there's a lot of humans, demons, and tieflings, and celestials fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Well. A lot of black rivers there, too. Stagnant. Just sitting on top of that. Just awful. The Iron City is where uh, where that all occurs. Yeah, I'd say that's probably this. All right. Well, I'm happy to. Uh, <laughs> travel with you and we'll we, we can kill Bazamad but again I get whatever we find you get the head alright it's fine excellent excellent <laughs> alright well Tell me a story. We gotta get to know each other before we're gonna head on out. Oh lord. Plus we're not gonna um, head on out for a little bit anyway. I got some uh, shit to do. Should probably go uh, make sure we're equipped and everything. Anyone else wanna introduce yourselves first? My name's Acilius. Velius. Wow, deep stories. Yep. <laughs> said a story. Tell me your um, fucking story, there, old guy. Uh, I mean, I'm a gunslinger. No, that's Building. that's that's your whole mm -hmm. shit. Using firearms, yeah. We'll see it. Well, if you want the whole spiel? Okay, I'll. I'll I do pull want out. the whole spiel. I just said I want to get to know you. I don't need to know what you can do. I want to know who you are. I do want to see that gun though. That's cool. I'll pull out the crack and then the set crack, it on yeah. Never had a taste for these as he picks it up. Do feel kind of manly with it though. Sets it back down. Gets kind of intoxicating after the first squeeze. <laughs> I heard that phrase before. Fair enough. Alright, so who the fuck are you? I grew up in a small rural village. Uh-huh. And a wife, no kids. Cool. Used to, uh, adventure with a different group of people. Uh-huh. Four things went south and got trapped in the shadow fell. Okay, now this is the interesting part. I don't know why you're pretending like there's an interesting shit going on here. <laughs> what the fuck is doing? Open up. Open the fuck up. Hi, my name's Burn. I kill devils for a living. That's what I lead with. Hi, my name's Asilius or whatever you said. He doesn't Hi, I've say. been trapped in the fucking shadow. That's interesting. It's... Kind we're of drinking dramatic. we're drinking beer i gave you a cigar let's fucking banter oh. man god damn don't you have any friends uh these are the first ones in about a decade 
a fucking decade in the shadow fell he lived off of mayo yeah just mayo that sounds fucking terrible well we we went into a place called the craptus kind of an underground labyrinth the craptus Crap. Crap. Oh, never mind. I thought it, was... oh, it was funnier than that. Okay. And, uh... I don't know. We... we got outsmarted by Dream Eaters. The fuck is that? Uh... They're kind of like Nightmares Incarnate. Interesting. There you go. Yeah. So it's you and the wife under there in the shadow oh, fell the whole time. Too. They were oh, okay. For, for ten them. years. It's no. A long, long time to bond. Most of that was just me. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Or not? But maybe not. Not cool. No. no. Uncool. Not very back cool. Is fine. You see four floating plates. That just... <laughs> <sighs> the fuck's mine? Oh, I didn't even fucking order it. <laughs> Fuck, fucking Gary. <laughs> is that Gary's fault or is it your fault? It's fucking Gary's fault. He's the waiter. Ask me. Use your words. Do they talk? Does he have words? Grab me a fucking steak. Yep, charred. But bloody on the inside. Like, uh, what do they call that? There's a name for that. I don't know what it's called. Anyway. Alright, so you Shadowfell guy. You're real sad. And... Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, okay, wow. And what about you? Uh, what was your name, Professor? Professor what? <laughs> Just the Professor. Oh, that's kind of cocky. All right, I like it. <laughs> Let's see. An off series, Professor what? <laughs> professor I'm a... Oomst. I'm a time traveler from... 5,000 years ago from the material plane, I built a ship to try and help uh, prevent the current crisis that's happening. Now we kind of move around in it. It's bigger on the inside. It's alive now. Did you bring it uh, here? I, no, uh, we're trying to keep it safe back on the material plane, and also we're using it as sort of an escape for certain people in an area if, if some shit goes down. This is how you open a story. Abilius. I've also died. Let's see. This is this is. Let's see. One, two, three. I've died thrice. This is this is body oh, number four. Almost halfway there. Yeah. So. Not too bad. Oh, A book sure. ate my face one of the times. So. I've only died once. My dad killed her one time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What was the other time? Oh, the first one? She got eaten by a book. No, no, no. No? The, the first, first one was... We know two of them. Alexander. Oh, true. There's a third. Wait. Before you met me, is yeah. what you're asking. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> that sounds like it was... a story for another time, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a long story. Okay. Well, we gotta get to somebody else. Uh, one of you with the wings. Um, my name is Avelios. I am the, I guess, emperor of the Eric Cochrans on the material plane. And I completely obliterated my entire hometown, plus every island around it. <laughs> is that how you start a story? I like that <laughs> shit. He sort of gives you nuts, too. Hell yeah. Yep. Alright. And killed my own brother, so. Ooh. Yeah. 
I but had he one was of those ones too. It was necessary. Yeah, me too. All right, last up. I'm Alinea. All right. Uh, Good champion start. Champion of Solarion. I don't know what that uh, is. Well, she's the god that killed Lathander and is now. I'm sorry, the god did you say the god that killed Lathander? <laughs> yeah. Strange news hasn't gotten out. I but... set her free, and now she's in charge, and I am her champion. And. I'm an ASMR that Lathander created, and he's an asshole, so. Not anymore, we, uh... I guess. Yeah. Um, Wait, so I'm dealing with some fucking heavy hitters here. And then one yes. sad guy. Yep. He's actually a heavy hitter. He just does. He's very modest about it. You wouldn't believe the amount of fetuses he's killed. One. Huh. No, the T Rex was pregnant. Wait, Egnir did that. Agnir. That was Egnir. Wow. My bad. Why do you always get those two confused? They're not. Even I don't know. It's very strange. Person. They're not alike at all in any way. There's no common denominator. <laughs> He's like a foot shorter, covered in mushrooms. Yeah, he's like he's also like Isilius is really pale. pale. And he has an accent. He like has how do you dreads? He's yeah. Maybe I don't see like superficial okay. things about people if you consider that. Maybe deep down they're they're very like You don't see their appearance. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> do you need your eyes checked or like is no. everything okay? I'm good. <laughs> At this point, Maybe look... I don't see race guys unlike you, okay? At this point, you look down at your plates. The two of you that asked for vegan, each of you have a plate with like seven apples on it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and uh, the other two uh, that just asked for something good. Um, you have what looks like some sort of roasted meat uh, on a bone. Seems to have like a like a bone sticking out of it, and then um, uh, there's there's definitely some sort of gravy, and it's like sitting in in the edge of like this stew, this brown stew. It's got like like maybe vegetable matter in it or something. It's not particularly well plated. It's all brown, but the meat looks pretty good. Does it look like it could possibly be human, humanoid? Because I mean, you can roll a medicine check. I don't think Hannibal Lecter is working at this establishment. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, probably not human. Um, but it definitely looks like the leg of something. Give it a try. All right. Taste it somewhere between beef and pork. It's uh, it's uh, it's got this this like like tenderness with this nice char on the outside. It's it's pretty good. Sort of falls off the bone as you get sort of further in. Well, so I guess a little bit about me. I'm, uh, my name's Byrne. Uh, been living here in the Abyss on and off for about, uh, six years or so. Uh, came under the charge of, uh, the Dancing Gods. Uh, I found that axe, uh, after I killed an angel. And, uh, in self-defense... And uh, it dropped that axe. I picked it up, started talking at me. Uh, both of them did. And, uh, well, it said, like, if you want to follow your, your dreams, uh, and you want to you wanna do some okay stuff in this world, uh, to follow them. And they would uh, give me power. In ways that I couldn't imagine, and uh, so far it's been true. But uh, given my abyssal heritage, I came on, 
I ended up coming here at some point, thinking, uh, uh, you know, how you how you end up in the abyss on some other mission, doing some other thing. Lost my crew, uh, but found out that I could still kill devils. So uh, I found this here establishment that was uh, just a bar, and sort of started another crew. So, uh, now we make money doing that. Every once in a while, I go back to the material plane, grab some stuff that you can't find here. Cigars. Normal women. Normal men. <laughs> normal food. And so, where's the rest of your crew? Well, we're not necessarily friends. We sort of band together when people need money. So the crew the crew is assembled every time we come here. Hey, anybody looking for a job? Yep, me. <clears throat> oh, I see. Yep. That looks like you're looking for a job. And so am I. So that makes us the crew now. We are a crew. Not too bad. Gary! Shots! Five of them. Gary sort of Hovers over with five brown liquid filled shot glasses. Well, pick it up. I'll take it. This, this is called <laughs> toast. We do those on the material plane as well. Yeah. Uh, True. Maybe you've been there. All right. One, two, three, tink. Uh, two, uh, I want to know. Endless fucking, wherever we end up. He slams it down. Yeah, it's pretty shitty whiskey, too. Oh. Well. I'm excited. So. Some things we should talk about. <laughs> fire and poison. Not gonna work on this fucker. Get rid of it. Okay. No fire, no okay. poison. Done. Can't hide from him. True hey. say? Oh yeah. Uh. Y'all got magical weapons, right? Oh yeah. All right, and uh, I suppose it it would behoove you to uh, protect yourself against fright. He's he's pretty imposing. So are all the pet oh, fiends. I, so that's fine as long as everyone's we'll be here. Okay, we stay next to you. All right, but also don't group up. Is there like a like oh a yeah, don't breath group weapon up. thing or something? A breath oh. weapon? No, he can just uh, cast infinite fireballs. So oh, yeah, could I be worse. I wouldn't do that. I would not stick together. That's that's not very good for me. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so s sticking together, once you get close to him, he uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna ha come up against a. <laughs> The realization that he could fuck you right in the face with that giant mace he's going to have. And you're not going to want that. And then you're going to start to get scared. But you need to resolve yourself and, and, and chill out. Um, it'll be okay. You got burn with you. I wish Agnir was here. Well, I'm going to pop out my piercing Agnir gem and put my fire one in. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Uh... Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. As far as tactics are concerned, he's just going to try to clobber the shit out of us. Um, and I don't know who he has at his disposal, so all that. We should take our time. We should not be rushing stuff. There's no need to rush it. We got all the time in the world. Do we, though? Yeah. Sort of. No, not sort of. You have all the time in the world. Get that in your fucking skulls. Because if you don't say you have all the time in the world, you're going to rush... 
and then your time is going to run the fuck out when he clobbers you to smithereens. Okay. Fair. All right. Well, I'll just stay back. I'm not a bow. He's got. I mean, just I just told you that you you're not necessarily going to be a stay at range either. No matter what's going on, you're going to get fucked in some way, and it's not going to be nice. That's so, fine. We'll just fuck him back. That's the point. We fuck him. But this is. Let's use a different word. We gotta kill him faster <laughs> than he kills us. Okay. I gonna, Easy. I was gonna say the other thing, but that didn't make any sense at all, did it? Given the context of our location. Yeah, so we're gonna have to be sneaky. We're gonna have to be. Uh, are you bad at sneaky? Yeah. That's okay. I got something for that. But uh, you're still gonna have to okay. do some of the work yourself. Uh. Yeah, he's not. It's not vulnerable to anything. It's gonna take. It's gonna take some doing. Uh, so he doesn't have any like particular weaknesses. No, death, <laughs> decapitation. Can you, can you blind something that has true no. sight? No. Tried it. That was a dear friend of mine. That wizard. <laughs> he did his best. Anyway. R.I.P. Gummel. Little gnomish bastard didn't stand a chance. One bite. Yeah. I do not know how the digestive systems inside those work, but uh, I do know it works quick, because when we cut that thing open, he was not there. His items were, though. Some of the magic stuff. His staff. That was cool. Actually, this ring right here, he pulls up this uh, little golden oh ring with like God. a with like this little, this this like four, it looks like four teardrops that are tearing away from each other. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's going to have a lot of devils on his hand. We could... I mean, you could run into a bunch of shitty ones. There's probably going to be imps, minimum. Uh, lots of them. Is there anything we should know about imps? They're shitty. Just kill them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can, you can pop one of the. I mean, <laughs> a farmer has a shot. Not a good one, but a shot with like a pitchfork or some shit so you should be able to handle that they're just like fodder yeah kind of he could also have uh uh it depends uh he might, he might have one of his lieutenants with him uh that could be anything from a, a ren to a horn devil to a chain devil. i don't know well chain devil's probably gonna be more of the prison but uh could have some bone devils on there uh I don't know, I would not be surprised to find out that there are uh, <laughs> quite a few of these fuckers around there. Flying little spine devils with their beady little fucking eyes. I don't know. We just smite the shit out of these bitches. That's what we gotta do. Now, well, something about myself, I'm a little bit limited as far as my casting's concerned, so we're gonna have to make it quick. Quick and snappy. We're gonna have to crush it fast. If this, so, if this fight goes on, the longer it goes on, the less help I'm going to be. So, should the idea be we go in and we focus him and not so much his... Well, some of the little ones security. might scatter. But they're still going to be a, a nuisance, so you might, have to, you might have to just do away with them. Yeah. That said, we're going to be in the middle of an army camp, and they might just keep coming, so... So don't just sit there and pick off small guys. I'd say time. if you have to, you have to. I might have to. I don't know. But, uh, well. <laughs> Me and sensuality. We've had a good record over in the hells. That's the axe, the by the way. Your... Yeah. I was going to ask. Put that together. Oh. Yeah. I'm very versatile when it comes to combat. So I think we can figure something out. Good. I hope you are. Gonna be a bit of a walk, but uh, I got a guy that can that can smuggle us in. Oh, not gonna be very comfortable though. 
Oh, he's finally probably been through worse. I don't think you have. I've been through a dimension made entirely of meat where Skin was trying to surround us to eat us. That wasn't that bad. Uh, through a, and we had to jump through a portal filled with... Filled with what? Teeth? Oh, it, that, it, it that, like... that, didn't, that, didn't, that didn't show up. It like, it like ate us. Yeah. Okay, alright, well... So... I still don't yeah, like... think this is going to be better than that, but... Smuggling is smuggling. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the so, way we're going to go. We're going to have to be smuggling on in like that. It's okay. It's our... What's it what? What's our plan to get out once we get the head? You got plane shift, right? It's a whole different plane. Go I do it. have it. So we just plane shift back Save to Save that Udish? shit or we're fucked. Okay. How do we have to be close to each other for that shit? Let me look. Yes, I usually, I usually just do, do it. <laughs> I usually have it. You know. That's how you got here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, save that. Pretty sure we have to be close to each other. I'm looking. So we grab the head and plane Yeah, you gotta link out. hands. Okay. So we have to hold hands. Yup, we can't leave. I'll save my misty step then. Okay. Well. And then save my dimension door if I can. We're very mobile, which is good. Which means you gotta survive, young lady. Or we're fucked. I'll do my best. She's very squishy. <laughs> All right. Worst <laughs> case, I'll die, and then I'll just teleport us with a different face if I'm not too confused. <laughs> takes you, uh, like, five minutes to get a new face. Yep. So we're gonna try and not let that happen. <sighs> okay. Well. <laughs> I think it would, uh, probably behoove us to, uh, Make sure that y'all had a nice rest. We could prepare. But, uh... We also do have some armaments, if you're interested in that, uh, that we could go try to procure from, uh... I don't know. Maybe the, uh... Guider Bank? That if that's something you're probably... interested in, if not, we don't have to. Wouldn't hurt to check? Yeah, we might as well check it out and see what we can find. All right, well. <sighs> Gary floats over with a plate and a steak. <laughs> really fucking finally at the end of the conversation already. <laughs> uh, God damn it, so Gary. So I assume there's lodging here. Here? No. Oh. No, we're just going to steal someone's house. Who? Oh. It's the abyss. Steal. Fair. Okay. There's no rules, remember? Yeah, just kick them out. Fuck them. Okay. What's this trepidatious bullshit for? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. Worry about that? We gotta behead a fucking pit fiend tomorrow. Yeah, but that's like... Different. Someone who's involved in a war. This is just someone's house. It's a demon. You worry about demons a lot? I worry about a lot of things a lot. Well, don't worry I'm about this. Check it off your list. That, that I'm what? Not you. Oh, you. good. Nothing about you has surprised me except for the kindness. And the kindness came with a side to it. Sure. <laughs> Which I expect. I think I understand. Well,. Just depends on kind of what kind of digs you want. Anyway, we can uh, as he sort of starts really, really trying to stuff. Just a place well, that's can, not made out of. We cats. can uh, made out of what? Cats. 
I just want to. You talking about that cat place. bar? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was the worst place I've what, ever. What's it called? Cat's claw. The cat's claw. <laughs> that shit's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do such a thing? That's some madness right know. there. That's absolutely wild. And they keep them alive. Thought... You're still alive. Like, are they are they actually like alive All and time. feeling everything? No, probably. Or is it like They're uh, demons? What do you expect? I don't know. I don't know either. You keep being like surprised and worried about shit. Maybe if you were a dictator, things would be different. True. Probably true. No more cat claw. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, what kind of shit you into? What are you looking for? Like, for lodging? Items. Oh. I mean... Fire resistance? <laughs> potions would be good. Fire resistance. Fire resistance. We uh, might be able to do that. Anything that might hurt a devil really bad? Wow. You think if they had real hurt devils, real bad stuff, they'd put it for sale and not give it to the armies? <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. Hurt. Hey, can I get some hurt devils, real bad, real quick? <laughs> Look, I don't need your sass, okay? It's not sass. Yeah. I'm making fun of you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm just a little friendly jape. We gotta have banter. We're gonna. We have to bond before we go and do this. I get enough bants from these people. No, you don't. Specific you can't have enough. Mostly. Isn't that right, Isilius? Big banter guy over there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't, actually, at all, but I'd love to someday. Well, maybe if we survive. Yeah, if we survive, we'll <laughs> be around long enough to uh, find you a personality. Okay. That wasn't a joke. Seriously, what's wrong with you? <laughs> he doesn't have a soul. Yeah. Like... Oh shit, that'll do it. Yeah. So when the soul jumps in your body, you're going to be like... You're going to have it back. You're going to have that thing that all of us have. You're going to have thoughts. <laughs> nope. And you're going to have like... He has thoughts sometimes. Yeah, but he seems to keep nice. it to himself. Well, shit. This sort of weird odyssey makes me want to come along for that, too, but uh, well, seven I times. Mean, I mean, we could use extra the help. This part is uh, kind well, of... With a lot of payment, you can maybe afford me. We'll talk about that when we talk about it, okay? Done. We gotta, We got to live through this first. You might be down a person after this. I don't know. In which case, I would... Minimum five. Five a pit. Five. Times. Gold, okay. People. No. Oh. Anyway. That's fantastic. Why don't you leave with the I don't have a soul shit? I'm no good at telling stories. I don't know why, but I, I liked what you just said there. I don't know what what, what about that what made me happy that you said it felt like a joke, but I don't know if it was. It just it felt like it. That's the closest you and I have gotten to banter so far. I dig it. Well, brother, let's see if we can't get you something. Uh, you just working guns? You don't you don't have anything else going on? Uh, got a rapier as a side sword. But. That's shitty. And you have a, uh, what do you got going on? The bow and arrow little thing going on there? Uh, like cool I have bow. that. And then I'll fucking throw out a blood sword real quick. And this, if I need it. Another thing you should probably consider leading with. <laughs> you said you didn't want to know what we did. You wanted to know our story. There's no story attached to your blood fucking sword. Lies. Well, I cut my own heart out. <laughs> people, people are absolutely fucking worthless sometimes. <laughs> I, I I just 
Hey, Sorry, I I'm not used to telling all of thing. myself well, to I every didn't... person we meet. I, yeah, we're, we're here in a bar. We supposed to. There's like an unspoken dick measuring contest thing that's supposed to go on. There's banter. Like this, you are not normal compared to the people I usually hang out with. Usually, it's like a oh, I just do whatever, and they talk a bunch of bullshit. I guess I appreciate your reserved honesty. You're all very fascinating, though. And then, uh, uh, the professor of nothing. You got, uh, you got anything you, you're looking for? You like anything you need? I mean, uh, again, if we get fire resistance, that'd be great, because I die very quickly and very often, hmm. so... Technically, wouldn't you be the professor of everything now? Since you have the algorithm? The professor of math? Sure. I don't know what any of those words mean. Uh, except math. Mm. I don't know how to count, she but is, I do know what it is. She's very, uh, squishy. So. Cool. Uh, and then, uh, you got that little spear thing. You got a little shield. Okay, it's not a little spear well, thing. Well, I'm not trying to denigrate you. I just... I, you know, too, just have to, a divine a weapon. Feel. Ah, nice. Does it... You know... No. Oh, okay. I just I'll <laughs> I'll summon the spear to show him that it's just got the like rose blooming and vines and everything on it. Hmm. And they say say I'm kind compensating. Of, <laughs> kind of iconography. I dig it. I think you're all very cool. Hopefully you're cool enough not to get totally murdered and die in the hells. Your soul stays there, by the way. If you die there, you only died you once. Don't want, mm, you don't want Even that. If you're... No, if you can retrieve it, that's fine. I'm saying, if you die, die. If you're dead, dead. Well, say goodbye to any of the other plans you had. That soul's bound. I don't even know if we know how that's working right now anyway in terms of ferrying souls from place to place. Technically, there isn't because the dead, the souls of the dead don't get ferried right now. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Then you'll be a true traveling husk of a person that's not bound to any rules of afterlife. You don't want that. The way that we... <laughs> Wait, is that working for everybody right now? Uh, Back up. Uh, yeah. Yes. So. Shit is getting very fucked up here. Okay. Don't die. Um. All right. We'll we'll, we'll do. Not do. We'll not do. All right. He takes the last bite of his his steak. That is charred on the outside and bloody on the inside. How the fuck? It's called Pittsburgh style. It's real. Um, oh my god! And, and uh, he takes the last bite of that, washes it down with uh, his semi-warm brew that he was drinking. Well, why don't we make our way on out of here? Okay, we'll take you to the uh, the gutter bank, and we'll uh, see if we can't get you something. Okay. I got gold, platinum, diamonds, stuff like that. That's how much it costs. I'm a little broke, but... Well, if you're broke, we might not be all good shit, but we'll see what happens. Emperor here might have some money. Maybe. A little. I don't bring it all. We can you're see. the richest one out of all of us, so... Yeah, and I didn't bring all of my riches to the abyss. Which is probably a smart play. Mm. Not the worst idea. Okay, well, let's get the fuck out of here. You leave. Okay. Just gotta cross the old river here. And you take a little bit of time uh, to walk down. And you look down, um, down a hill. Uh, and... Um, the city streets sort of sort of part as it gets closer to the uh, the river, and you can see that there's not buildings near the river. Um, it's sort of open. In fact, even the f the the concrete or whatever you're you're standing on, the sort of stone, 
uh, stops being things is just natural. And there's just like this 30 foot berth that this river is given on either side. And you can see this slow moving, it almost looks like an ice flow of just this salt. Moving through. That shit right there? That'll dissolve the shit out of you real quick. Thing is, River of Salt, it requires a sort of payment if you want to get through. Or you can drink that shit from the guy back, back there that makes it not be able to d detect you, but then you're bound to fucking Sibriax for some fucking, I don't know, he's, he's, he's trying to swindle people. It's demon. I get it, I guess. Anyway, uh... You can, uh... <laughs> well, it's going to need some of your, your, like, life essence. So... H half of it, actually, for, for, for a couple days. Uh, how and does then, that work? Well, then you normally gain it back naturally through the fact that you uh, are a human person or whatever humanoid person you're not so we'll have plane. half hit points no 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 you'll have half of your life essence totally different how does that won't hurt us in the upcoming fight will it could hurt you after how do... confused how do we give it our life essence well you walk up to it, you bleed into it a little bit, and then, then it continues to take until it's done. It's relative to each person. But it doesn't take more unless you try to cross it without that. And then it gets mad. And then it takes whatever the fuck it wants. Most of the time it's everything. This isn't gonna, like, permanently bind us to something, right? No. I just talked you out of permanently binding yourself to something. Okay. Why would I do that just to do it again? Does make sense? I don't know. I agree. For your own gains. What but... gains do I have? Do you think I made this river? No. Me either. Any more questions? I can just show you how it works. That'd be great. Go for it. Cool. All right. He walks up to basically right where that sort of like dissolves into just this normal um, sort of um, dark brown soil that is it just looks like blighted land and he takes his axe and stands it up straight and then he slices his hand and he starts dripping his blood over the soil and as it drips down he sort of winces and then you see the river the waters the salt water sort of fold over the side of of where it's like the boundaries of the river it starts climbing up the bank as it, it flows continuously but there's just this like it's almost like a pseudopod of salt water and it sort of and then it just starts to the blood starts to sizzle and then you can see the blood being drawn out um and then after a moment, he sort of closes his hand. <sighs> and for him, the river splits and he walks across. And it <sighs> comes back and continues to flow. And he sort of yells across. Yeah, just do that! Like right on the hand huh. or another bleedy part. And uh, cool. walk on across. I'm used to it, so I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. The day of the life. And as you do that, it's a normal you, day for me. You you feel this cold sensation from your hand at first, and it spreads into. It's almost like brain freeze in your bones, in the your hand and wrist, and then your arm, and then your shoulder, and then into your heart, and you hear this, <laughs> and your ears sort of like, and you can feel your blood pump. 
and the blood is being pulled. You can feel it being like almost like you had a piece of spaghetti in your vein and you pulled the noodle out. Uh, just that sort of... <laughs> That description uh, hurts me in real life. Yeah, uh, <laughs> if you've ever had an, if you ever had an IV, it's a very similar. Oh, I have. Yeah, that sort of like feel. Um, I remember having what it felt like having my IV. Well, too. it goes into you at times, um, depending on what you got going on. And uh, uh, there's this moment, and your heart sort of flutters, goes, and you feel like you're gonna like have a panic attack, and then you. Breathe in, and it's over, and it crosses. It, or it opens up so you can't cross. Mm-hmm. You cross. cross. Okay, you walk across. Uh, half of your hit dice are gone. Oh, okay. So we have nine instead of eighteen. Okay. So this, on next. short rests, that's what counts as well. Okay. Same experience as you slice across, lose half your hit points or hit dice, and so on until you walk across. He wasn't that bad. Kind of no, weird. Not at all. Kind of weird. The, Normal for me. It's just the price, you know? Anyway, so let's head over to the uh, Galler, Guider Bank. As he uh, try and look for my there it is. Um, as he leads you up, you can start to hear uh, the sort of ding ding of blacksmithing and stuff as you come to this wall. Oh, and there's a single door in this tall wall, and behind it seems to be. Um, empty space, and then the palace. Um, but you walk into it, and it is a, it is a, a, a blacksmith shop. Um, sort of. Um, there are multiple forges uh, ringed around this this interior with, um, uh, and you saw from the outside there was this billowing sort of black smoke that turned into that purple fire. Uh, similar here, these these chimneys. Um, or I guess these forges in here have purple fire and you see these very large <clears throat> uh, um, thick chested buff um, uh, horned uh, uh, demons um, with this sort of like um, uh, purple gray skin um, hammering on shit and then uh, uh there's 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 one near you and um, um, Burn says I'm trying to recall his name. Burn says, "Hey Taraka," and uh, this this large one. Um, the only difference is he has like this this long scar along the front of his scalp that runs like kind of like down like this, um, uh, sort of. Um, bat-like features on his nose where it just sort of like flaps open and then a long underjaw that has tusks that reach up to <sighs> Ah, hey, Burn! Out for another adventure, are you? <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of people with me too. Uh, we're gonna head off on yet another uh, glorious adventure and we're just seeing if you could uh, see what you had to outfit anybody and uh Hoping to get a little bit of the old burn discount. And, uh... All right, all right, all right. You're a good customer. You have a little bit of a cut. Well, what you looking for? Do you have anything that would, uh, grant some fire resistance, maybe? I sure do. I got one. What is it? <laughs> All right. Um, one second. I'll be right back. And sort of walks away. And um, uh, there's there's a moment of uh, of just sort of like taking in the space. You look around. There there 
They're not hammering on anvils. They're hammering on these black diamonds with flat tops. Um, the the um, tools look like hammers. They're also these black sort of obsidian diamonds. They're almost purple on the inside. It looks like a um, um, grape ring pop almost. Uh, and they kung, kung, hammer these uh, weapons of... These look relatively crude. Um, there's this thing um, that uh, I silly as you're familiar with. It's called cold steel because you have the breastplate on. Um, it's just this. Um, it's just this. Mined from somewhere in the abyss or the hells. Uh, there's this ore that just creates this cold essence, and it's actually a little bit chilly in here, uh, even though there are like nine forges uh, going at once. Um, and then uh, uh, Taraka comes back holding up a black leathery cloak and then sets it down on, on his diamond anvil and sets it down. And you can see it's actually got like this light fur to it. Um, and it has this sort of, has these sort of leathery ties that, that seem to cross over so you can tie it up around your neck. And then it, you see the hood. And... It's a horse head. This is a horse hide. And the ties are its fucking legs just leathered. <laughs> and it just... Um, and it uh, goes down. Well, this is... Uh, it's called a nightmare cloak. It's made out of a nightmare. Which is the opposite of a unicorn. How Helen, you would know. You... Oh. It's the antithesis of the celestial unicorn. Is this 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 um so like uh, evil black colored horse? Uh, you know they're usually covered in flame. Um, and sometimes they are ridden by demons. Um. Uh. uh so. He says, well, you can either attune to it, and it'll act normal, then it'll give you a fire resistance, um, and also you'll be able to uh, uh, cast, uh, uh, I don't know, one of the fire things once a day. I don't know which one it is. Um, but you'll be able to do that if you attune to it. If you don't attune to it, you can't cast anything. It'll still give you fire resistance. And there's a chance when it uh, gets hit by fire, you, uh, well, bad things can happen. But it's up to you. What kind of bad thing? Well, a bad thing. That's very vague. A little persuasion check. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Nineteen. Is that actually what I have? What's your proficiency bonus? No way. What's your pro What's four? your proficiency bonus? It's uh. Plus six. Six. I have expertise. Plus seven. So twelve. So twelve plus seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's like a thirty. <laughs> like a thirty-four. Okay. Um. Well. You can be scared of yourself. You become your own nightmare. Got a low chance of occurring. I'm just saying. How low of a chance? Well, seems you've survived, so I don't know. It's relative to each person. A low enough chance. So a tune or don't. Up to you. How much do you want? They want it? Yeah. 500 gold. It. How much? Five. That's with the discount already. With a discount already? I said what I said. 
Um, how much do you guys have? Because I forgot that Agnir did give me a little bit of money. I have some in the party fund. Does Professor have an attunement slot? I do. I have 24 gold. What are you attuned I'll to? Put, I'll put the 500 down for that. Okay. You have cool. I have okay. glasses of intelligence and... Wait, are you, still, are you still using the glass of, of intelligence? Yeah, they give me a boost to plus two to intelligence, and it also increases the cap. Really? Two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's like my armor. I thought Does they. Uh, I thought they increase. gave you nineteen intelligence. That's mm -hmm. the uh, intellect. Ah. Okay. And then you wound. Yeah. Was the only two? Yeah. Okay. Is that five hundred? Yeah, I'll put the 500 down for that. Okay. And Professor, you'd like to... Is Professor wearing this? If that's okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yes. Alright, so it gives you resistance to fire damage. And sort of put it on and tie it. There's a horse head behind you. <laughs> it's always horses with you people. As she ties it on. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Holy sick, we're here. <laughs> and, uh... You can feel the attunement process uh, beginning. You need to do short rest for that. Um... If I cast Identify on it, can I find out... Mm -hmm. That's how it works. What... Yeah, I'll cast Identify to find out what the, the fire thing he was talking about that I can cast okay. as a free thing. All right, so as you uh, as you identify it, if you flip the hood up, the whole thing will turn burst into flames. And it uh, uh, gives you fire shield. Okay. Ooh, nice. Is that like a once a day or? No. Just at will. Yeah. Oh, Fire shit. shield at will. Holy balls. That's good. That's very good for you. I have that spell as like I use that on my contingency necklace thing. Yeah. The only thing is this <laughs> resistance doesn't stack for the fire. So. Yeah. Once you have resistance, that's it. Okay. You don't happen to have any kind of like potions, do you? Kind of potion you're looking for? Well, in my blacksmith is... shop. Oh, <laughs> well, you had a um, magical horse hide. Yeah. I guess blacksmiths do can hides. <laughs> I provided the infernal tack for this, but then it died, so I made a cloak. I see. Well, well, what else can I get for you? I don't have any open attunement, I don't think. <sighs> let's say we were going to fight a pit fiend. Yeah, let's say. Uh, do you have recommendations? Don't. Anything interesting you'd like to offer? Yeah, don't, like. Don't do it. Fair. Well, Turn back. No. Nope. Sure, but like, if someone were to, if you were to try to sell something to someone who is doing that, mm -hmm. what would you? Life insurance. Try to sell to them. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a quick question. You don't want to make any money, I guess. Okay, we'll just leave. Worst salesman ever. So, Fire Shield, uh, the spell, you can choose mm -hmm. uh, actually the actual spell, either a Chill Shield or a Heat Shield. Mm -hmm. So, if it's at will, and if I did the shield that blocks or gives mm -hmm. cold resistance, could I have that on at the same time that the thing is doing? Because it already fire does resistance. fire resistance. It would swap it. Okay. 
Just yeah, I think you can't be under the effect of the same spell twice. Right. In most cases. Yeah. Well, I've got armor. Any of you need any armor? Um, I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm good. As good as I can get. Swords? Rapiers? No. What kind of pussy uses a rapier? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to make a kebab? Maybe. I mean, I see you got cold iron on you, but... We can do better if you want. What's that do for you? Uh, it gives me resistance to the cold okay. and makes it harder to knock me prone. All right. Hmm. Well, I've uh, got some armor I stole from American. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, you don't have to know what it is to know it's r awesome. It's, uh, he goes in the back real quick. One sec. Walks through a door. And he brings out multiple brass um, plates, basically. Um, sets them down. There's these kind of long sort of brass pauldrons. Um, this very gladiatorial chest piece. Um, it comes with boots and shin guards. It comes with a um, uh, uh, two brass arm guards. And then it comes with this um, brass helmet that f it flips up, but when it flips down, it very disturbingly looks like a sort of like a, a almost like a demon baby face. It looks like it was sort of cherub like. Um, and it has and it has no eye holes, um, but he says, "Well, you wear this. It's uh, basically uh, uh, some sort of uh, plate, plate or something like that. I give you I'll give you a good defenses, but you can't be frightened, you can't be poisoned, and you have devil's sight." That's pretty good. That sounds exactly. I mean, we do need something to help with frighten. So yeah. The cloak gives me, I think, devil sight as well. What's the strength requirement for plate? Fourteen. Uh, it is. Because I the the uh, the uh, it is half plate plus one half plate, so uh, sixteen plus dex maximum two. So it doesn't have a strength requirement. Half plate doesn't know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I could wear it. It would improve my AC. How much? All you gotta do is have the helmet down. And you'll look... Not only fearsome, but... Uh... <laughs> You won't be able to be afraid. 1,200. Right, That's well. cheap. Will you take this breastplate for part of it? Well, how much money y'all have? Valius, what do you have? I only, bar I only brought like 600. I have 375 in the party fund and 67 on my person. I have 24. I have um, 470. What's that? Together. Oh, 
I could trade in the breastplate, and if he's interested, I'd, like dignitatum, I don't really use. Of what? Dignitatum. I mean, I'll take, the, take the breastplate for fifteen gold. Fifteen. Pretty common around here. Hmm. It's Christ. Well, we could probably get more for that on the material plane then. He's got a 50% discount, by the way. We could afford it if we put all our money together. Like, if I put in all 375 left in the party fund, and then you two put in money, then we could afford it. It's up to you guys, because I basically have no money to contribute to that. I'm fine it sounds with that. worth it. It feels worth it. Alright, so I'll put mm. up the 375. I'll just put up all six. 975. How much is it total? I have 470, so whatever the you difference. You need 225. Okay. Well, 210 with the breastplate. Yeah, so. Are you trading in the breastplate? We could probably get more for it on the material plane, don't you think? Fair. Yeah, so do the 220. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Might be able to feed it to Sontrak if we need something. True. Okay. Uh... So it's plus one half plate that makes you immune to fear and poison. Yep. And gives devil sight. Mm hmm. Sixty feet devil's sight. So magical darkness you can see through. Yeah, that's the same as the cloak. Okay. Now I am legitimately broke, so mm. Is it attunement? Yeah. That makes two. Wait, you only have two attunement items? Uh, yeah. Unless the Kraken is one. Nope. Then, yeah. Just the cloak and the armor. I thought... Okay, do we have anything extra to give you? Because I feel like... If we're sitting on some attunement items that we can't use... We might as well redistribute... <laughs> We must redistribute the <laughs> magical items. Well, wait, I still have my amulet, the one that you were using for a while, if you want to use it, or like my necklace. Uh, what does that do? Upcast one level? Yeah, once per day, uh, you can cast a spell <laughs> up one level. Like it'll count as a higher level spell slot by one. Um, yeah, I guess now that I actually have spells to cast. Yeah. I my... haven't had a use for it because I have all this other stuff I'm attuned to, so. Sure. Alright, I'll take off my rose necklace and hand it to Axelius. Okay. You have the symbol of your patron granted to you by your patron. <laughs> Technically, this is a gift from Avelio. <laughs> to me, that I had well, he 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 got it redesigned. It was the he didn't get that enchantment done there. No, he whenever he made the rose blades, he got us all something, and that was my right. gift. And I had it enchanted. Shoe, all good there. Yeah, I think that's as set as we are going to be right now. Okay. All right. 
Thanks for that, Tanaka. Sort of nods and continues to hammer away. Dun, dun, dun. Pleasure doing business. And you sort of walk out. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we got to find ourselves a place to stay tonight. Well, we don't want to cross back over this river. Access points beyond it anyway, so... We'll get our stuff back when we cross back over. It'll grant it back to us. Okay. I think it's kind of a uh, insurance policy the Dark Prince keeps on this part of town. What's the purpose of the river? Does it just I just stop said it people? out loud. No, it also I mean, does like stop said... people. Yeah, it'll eat you. It'll get you good. It'll dissolve your ass. Even if you just, like, teleport over it? Good luck. There. I think a tiny little misty step or some shit's gonna get you to the other side of this ab oh, like abyssal murder door. river. Oh, only a little bit higher. Maybe a wish spell. That could get you over. Anyway, let's find a place to sleep because I am... Um... Sleepy. Well, all right. What kind of digs you like? You want to be a basement level? You want to be up top? You want to be mid level? You want something nice? You want something quiet? Quiet. Quiet. Yeah. All right. You're gonna have to kick quiet people out of there. Oh. Picking and choosing. Like... We act like what? Where else are you going to stay? In the street? Yeah. You don't want that shit. Professor, can't you do that dome? Can you? I can, yeah. A dome? Don't you have the mansion? Or the mansion? Spell? I do have a magnificent <laughs> mansion, actually, if we just want to do that. That sounds way better than kicking a people out of their home and we could yeah. just have a... You get a mansion, huh? Probably more comfortable to you. Exactly. I'll and stay, safer. I'll stay in a mansion. I don't mind. <laughs> if we're gonna just go to Is that sleep prepared or do you have to do an well. arcane swap thing? I can swap it, but that's okay. I can do that as a feature of my subclass. That's as a mean. bonus action once per What's I don't remember if it's short rest or long. Okay. You might as well do that. If we're just okay, because it's not a ritual. You have to use the spell slot, so yeah. you'd have to swap it. Okay. Yeah, if that's what you want to do. <coughs> All right, put it on, like, the gate or something where no one is going to come over there. Okay. I'll do so. Then you walk over to this black cold steel gate. The, the coolness of it pops off on here. You start tracing a doorway in the air in front of it. And, uh, I think it's, is it just an action? Or is it ten minutes? It, it be, is a minute. I was gonna say, it must, be, it must be longer than an action, otherwise it would affect battles. Um. True. <laughs> although you could technically cast that before a battle and run away in it, but then be poofed out stuck after 24 hours. Uh, yeah, you're stuck in it. Um, I don't think you can plane or travel from it either. Um. No, I don't think you can. Yeah. So, um, well, you, the door opens in, well, fuck, <laughs> well, that's pretty goddamn nice, isn't it? So he steps in, what's it look like on the inside? I'm going to say it, it opens up to sort of one of those those staircases that bougie people have Ooh, the, that the, are like two-sided. Yeah. Oh, God. A little chandelier action. Yeah. I want chandeliers that have like purple gems in them. Okay. And, uh, Any paintings? Yes. There's paintings of the various different professors in Renaissance style. Ooh. <laughs> Is the purple one on a, a being sexy on a horse? Yes. 
there's a picture of current professor and Kasdan and, and sort of that that what what's the one with the god and the creation of Adam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of, I need to show you guys something. But... Right now? No. Okay, added, cool. But I reminded me. A little roadblock. I just thought. <laughs> Anyway, up in the top, there'll just be uh, various doors going to different rooms that'll look, okay. at least for the people who are here, like the rooms on the what Hartnell, your, basically. What are the servants that walk around? What do they, what do they look like? Who? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have him look like like uh, the, the second professor, just like the... The, <laughs> the purple tiefling? Yeah. <laughs> that guy is so used. Why do you hate him? You know, these are these these are different beings, okay? I they just look the same, okay? Why do you hate him in particular? Like, why don't you have manservants of the first one? Fine, I can do that. It's only a mix of all the previous professors. <laughs> you know, you've only ever used this before for a casino thing we did. Yeah. It's a high level we spell. We killed two dragons and usually inside have of the here. Hardenal. I just realized that, like, you have this amazing mansion. And we have only used it twice. It's similar spells to that you used to make the Hartnell. So. Sure. Yeah. Ooh, exotic. <laughs> so. You hang out in the uh, in the mansion. Is there anything you want to accomplish in the mansion over the course of time that it takes you for the long rest and stuff? Anything you want to talk about? Ask. I've got nothing on my mind right now. I'm good. I don't think I have anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to push boundaries on the god thing yet. Okay. Uh, as you step into this, by the way, Isilius, that effect ends on you. As you're no longer on the abyss. Wait, what was this? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> I want to know! <laughs> so. You seem normal. Take a nice rest. He did seem a little normal, but was he? Uh, what was he? So, as you uh, allow yourself <coughs> some rests, preparing uh, for the next day uh, to try to go smuggle yourselves into the nine hells to murder a devil general of an yep. army yeah. to appease the demon prince Grozit to get an audience with him to be re-smuggled back into the Nine Hells in a way that you can get into the prison and try to confront the god of death himself, Zix, who has Isilius's soul or something, and also the essence of death. So we'll pick up doing that next time. And now you have your new new best buddy, Burn. <sighs> Love him. Who has fantastic art, and I wish I knew the artist. I don't want to share it on stream without knowing the artist, so I'm not going to, but um, I'll show the <laughs> players in a little bit, which is what... He, which is as soon as I saw this picture, I was, I was kind of looking during prep, and I was like, I kind of want a cool NPC to hang out and hopefully, hopefully, you know, unless you blew your way through the abyss and figured out a bit different way, he would probably have to help you at one point. <laughs> so uh, I found this really cool, this really cool tiefling. And uh, if we can find the artist, I'll share it. But um, yeah, very inspiring, very very inspiring. Uh, so uh, you all sleep restfully and safe in inside there. Um, you get the benefits of a long rest. Your hit dice are still not good. And I would suggest 
uh, decent conversations about spells that you're bringing along with you next time uh, yeah. from the paladin and the wizard. I think the other two are fine. Well, no, clerics pick their spells too, right? Yeah. Okay, so all three of you have a lot to talk about. Crap, crap. Um, um, I wanted to, to say the thing I remembered when mm, you said the Sistine yes. Chapel painting. So I don't know if you guys looked, but in the Hannah and Jake server in the fan art section... So oh, I yeah. actually did a rendition of the two of you like the Sistine Chapel, which this has been done before, but now this one is gorgeous because it's got yeah. every chud around Hannah in the sky, along what? with Harold Penisman. It's amazing. So it's, I think John Doyle's like a little little cherub, so, and he's got a yeah, gun. So like it's you and I? Sargon. Yeah, Everyone. pull it up. It's so good. Okay, where it's, is it? Go Can... to the fan art section in Hannah and Jake. And it's you're next to like a field of corn, yeah, and I'm descending with right, tin do, foil I'll do, stuff. I'll do, I'll it's I'll, great. I'll do this real quick in the fan art section. Uh, the artist is, is Ace Laces, and uh, oh shit, fucking, I just saw. It's beautiful. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Tell me that's not yeah. glorious. It's oh amazing. my god. It this morning and this I was is like, gonna oh, be this is gonna be my header. My Look at that. I want to go get this printed on like canvas. This is <laughs> absolutely I like beautiful. Should, I kind of want to ask them if we could if it could be used for like the YouTube header because it's yeah. just that fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna ask right now. That's that's amazing. That's so fucking cool. I'm really happy about that. I should get a shirt. You know what? Those sweat the, that that sweatshirt. I feel like I want to wear that. Just a and blue I feel like sweatshirt that says Papa. Papa, and I feel like other people would wear that. <laughs> I should make Papa sweatshirts. That's a good one. Uh, that's beautiful. And who? What was the name again? One more time. Ace the, laces. Ace laces. Thank you so much, Ace laces, for the dope fan art. Uh, I will be contacting you. Let's see if we can. That looks like Dave Rubin and Sargon, and oh man, that's so good. Uh, very, very cool. Yeah, awesome. Anyway, that's the end of the D and D. Yep. I'm very excited for the next session. It's gonna be fucking crazy. I'm so ready to fuck up a pit fiend. Uh. <laughs> I'm so ready. Oh man. Yeah, we're level 18. We got this. Oh. Right? Chris hasn't had a good fight in a while. We're basically gods. Same. You are very powerful for level 18. Because a combination of us wanting to do that as the uh, as the uh, campaign began and me not understanding uh, power creep at uh, my first um, like at the beginning of this. Wanting to do what? Yeah, point by just feels so much better. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, yeah, basically basically rolling those this... dice like it made you real strong real early, and so mm -hmm. yeah, point by is gonna is gonna bring us back down to earth. But this is a high magic campaign here in, in Charisma Saves Campaign One. We're so... basically the Avengers now. Yeah, it's fucking rad. And so enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy, flex those muscles, use all those cool abilities, and smash the fuck out of everything and d destroy the world ender. It'll be fun. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be fun. <laughs> We're basically just fighting Thanos now. When you say the world ender, I know that you've been listening to too much. Uh, I haven't listened to it at Huron. all, but it's what came to mind, so maybe. Oh, the sandal says sport on it. Yeah, I saw that Thanks. Too. Appreciate it. Uh, anyway, I love you guys. Have a wonderful night. We'll be back uh, Wednesday, not Thursday. We'll be back on Wednesday because I don't think Cyberpunk is launching on next Wednesday, too. No. So hopefully there's, there's no game awards no game next awards. Wednesday. Well, we, we ended up getting most of our viewers back, but the beginning of it was a little, yeah. little light because <laughs> people were Oops. watching everything else. Didn't think about it. Anyway, uh, I'm very excited for the future of this. So, looking good. Love your faces. Enjoy. Um, also, um, the backlog. If anyone's interested, I did upload that, and I forgot to set them to premiere. So there's like there's like there's like six episodes of of Christmas Days that have just been uploaded. So um, you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll be back tomorrow with some uh, uh, more trash on Friday. So uh, should be a good time. Looking forward to it. 
Bye. Maybe meme drop? Who knows?